You fucking suck my dick later on the fucking break. You're rich, but your bum is burning. Oh. Yeah, I ain't going to none of his house parties. Tell him meet me in the bathroom. Oh. I'm going to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. The party party. Turn on some Shade. <laughs> turn on some Shade. All the lyrics make sense. Turn on the now. fucking Shade. Oh, no. Turn on the Ross Cross Shade. It's, it's, starting, Shade it's right starting to click. Smooth <laughs> operator. Something, something, something. Some player is sick. I had no backup. <laughs> <laughs> we need something. That was Let's the first. Yeah, oh, here it is. You're going to get us a, a Frico charge. A Frico <laughs> charge. Imagine playing this shit now. You're going to get. You're gonna get Cause yo, did he say I told her meet me in the bathroom or I told them? <laughs> them, told them. Him. I told him. It sounded like, like him. It sounded like him. It sounded like him. It's starting to change. Yeah. I tell him meet me oh! in the bathroom. He's done. He's done. <laughs> He's crucified. Meek, we're trying to help you, bro. No, I'm trying to no get helping some him. He's in the fire pit. I tell him. I tell him. More fire. I tell him. That's what he said. That's no. why Drake and was, that's why Drake lit him up from long time, eh? Yeah. Oh, Drake knows them. Oh, Drake, Drake can that. see Drake can see a little a little weirdness from a mile away. All right, we'll change Drake stays by himself. What we do Friday? What we do Friday? What we do DJs? Are? I'm not gonna say it. You have to burn them up. What do you mean I'm not gonna say it? We're not trying to get my pants. I'm not, but you have to burn them up. My pants was not that good. Mix gets burned up today. Mix getting burned up. Yeah, burned up today. Suit everybody else and all that, but we ain't doing all that. But goodness, suit me. Actually, no salutes. Sorry, I'm being broad and fisty. No salute for Meek oh Mills. Goodness. No salute for Pete Freaky. Oh, Pete Freaky Mills. Okay, let's get it started. We are Buck is the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast, Friday Rick Dread, aka Bonfire Rick, aka We Out Here, man. Um, episode 450. We over here at Utopia Record Studio. We got Dusty Wallace in the mother building. <laughs> My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, and and uh, what you saying, man? I said nothing, man. Okay. I'm chilling, man. I'm ready to burn, burn everybody. Everybody's gonna get flamed up today. We on fire, fire. I came ready. I came prepared. Fire trucks are out. Our fire truck is out. The fire marshal Bill is here. Oh man, and we, we got DJ Zar in the motherfucking building. Yes, sir. DJ Zar. DJ Zar, I almost forgot my name because I'm young shawarma now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> AKA the enemy in the Sonic series. <laughs> he, he's seen those comments. I've seen those comments. <laughs> yeah, make sure you co like, comb that little hair on the top. Oh, wow. Shout out that one hair just Pass me the, hanging the, the, off for dear life. Right <laughs> we spilling ice caps all over the bitch. Oh, it is man. wild crazy. over here. Crazy, crazy. And, and and also we got we got um B3 in the motherfucking so building. Guys, what up, guys? What what up? Up? Oh, yeah, we just tossed the bike. Okay, cool, man. We're crazy saying, over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, we were good over here, it man. It is wild today. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Did he do it? You know what it is? <laughs> Did he got us all discombobulated yeah, over here, right? today, Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, got nothing over here discombobulated. Pause. Hey, yo. They ain't got nothing over here discombobulated, Stock dog. Stock for <laughs> Stock for love. Stock for love. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay, but we, we back again. Um, episode 450, more podcast madness for your head top. More. Um, before we get into it, uh, let me wipe my <laughs> Holy, yeah, <laughs> I need a chill person. Person. They, If they only knew how hot these lights really get, they would be I like, know, oh, right? that's why they're sweating. They're not on flipping drugs. Uh, they'd be like, okay, <laughs> flipping the lights in here, boy. Yo, sidetrack, no sidetrack. How many times have you seen that in the freaking comments? Oh, that's why you guys are just cokehead idiots. I, your man's I, on I, drugs you know like... What is what's, what's you know? Yeah, everybody I'll, I'll, leave I'll, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> For I them to notice they on drugs. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. How you know? I'm yeah. How you know? How you know what a motherfucker on drugs look like? If you ain't been on it, they, they you know what I'm saying? They're if like, you ain't been on before. it, huh? They're like, I seen that before. They felt that before. Yeah. You mean more like they felt it? Man, they felt it before. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they know. I know what he's going through. <laughs> I know what they're going through right now. <laughs> they can relate. Exactly. I'm going through it right now. Let's shut their ass. Well, before we get into anything, let's let's give a quick salute to the sponsors. Um, big salute to Diamond Club. They got it's delivery usual. all over the GTA. That loud and loud and loud. 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 All right. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. Or you could use the code We Love Hip Hop and get yourself a little discount. You heard me. Also, if you need that blem, hit up Steaming Hot Grabber. 
Okay. Um, there's some gravel on the table. They got gravel shakers, all types of good stuff. Hit them up on their Instagram page, steaming hot grabber. And you could also use the code we love hip hop. Also, big thanks to uh, Candy Farms. Candy Farms uh, sent a little care package over here. What is this? Look, looks like a package Yo, of they, candy. They're getting creative with the packaging. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, some crazy pack. it's wild out here with the packaging. But salute to Candy Farms. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Candy Farms underscore. Look for the um, barcode or the, um, the, the code thing on there to make sure that the packaging is real. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, let's let's get into a couple of things. Actually, announcements, announcements. Mm. There is the shows. I'm trying to pull up my pages here. There's the shows going on. The Junk Show is going down April 18th, 19th, and 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the details for all of that is going to be in the descriptions. We've still got the trivia questions that are in the descriptions for people who uh, who want to get into that. And uh, you got to answer some of these questions to get those free tickets, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to add some more questions in the comments also for that for that junk show. Or sorry, in the description for that junk show. So if you all want to tap in and go to any of the shows, whether it's the Hamilton show, the one here in Toronto, or um, there's one more location. So was Are we doing a meet and greet too? Niagara. Niagara. Yeah, they don't... Are we doing a meet and greet? If anybody wants to meet uh, that. That's a whole other... <laughs> anybody want to meet me? Right? Man, I'm open. On, they, could, they could, they could, we could we'll have them shake up. some people's hands and stuff like that about a whole meeting. We we'll have, have that extra we'll charge. Lineup, so. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas would be like, "Great, mm-hmm, huh?" <laughs> I, I will be Long time taking my private time. When Long time I want to speak to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Meet and greet us or something. That else. could get dangerous. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Actual meet and greet. It's been a long time I haven't. It's like, yo, I got the drop. They have a meet and greet at 5 p.m. today. Yeah. Hey, let's not give them ideas. <laughs> meet and greet yeah. you with one of these. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, yeah, big salute to junk. That's that's going down. And the MOP show, I was just in the, my hard drive and I see that here. MOP, that is going down on March 30th over at the Phoenix. Big salute to DJ Merciless. Big salute to Lord Fury, who's doing the hosting Jeez. for that, and Ace on Eastwood, and oh, Cool G Rap! Holy oh, shit! That is shit. <laughs> that's a legendary line. We're there. How could I not mention Cool G Rap? Holy air horn! Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know he, he's the first rapper to really have up Superhead. Mm. Yo, he had a crazy wild fan. He had Superhead. He was abusive. You guys know about who Superhead is? Mm. Bro, had Lil a... Wayne going crazy. Just put it that way. Bro. Lil Wayne wanted to marry him. There was a story I read, um, sidetrack, no sidetrack, in that book, where she didn't make the shrimp pr- uh, properly, and he slapped the shit out of her. <laughs> it's not funny, but like, damn. With them big cool G rap hands. Right? Holy. And, like, and the list tongue would go behind it. He'd be like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with, with my shrimp? My shrimp? <laughs> nah, nigga, she probably went through the closed door. Dog. Oh, no. But I guarantee you, after that, her shrimp was way better. <laughs> uh-huh. Sounded from a man from the Middle Eastern countries. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, yeah, sorry, man. I don't condone that, but I'm just saying, like, probably the next trip was better. Trip man. On point. <laughs> Shout out Andrew Schultz. That is from Andrew Schultz. Butter all nice oh, him. on him. I don't. That's not a guy to take a lot of. Food. Oh man. <laughs> um. And and you guys, everybody's okay over here. Was how's y'all week been, man? Yeah, all right, man. It was good. I had actually kind of a rough week a little bit like mentally mm. and you know i was second guessing everything you know what i'm saying i'm like Shit. yo do i want to do music do i want to do podcasting am i just going to do all this to one day advertise a teeth whitening service or like where's the <laughs> where's the ceiling though. you know i'm like i'm thinking like yo what should i do with my life but then i got a haircut mm. and i realized oh, everything is all right <laughs> yo if you're a male and you feel depressed link your barber get a lineup and you'll be fine Facts. I'm not even joking, bro. After the haircut and the lineup, I felt reinvigorated. I'm like, yo, never mind. I'm back on my purpose. I'm going to do this. Mm. Pearl Sound, DJ Sorry, Like, I do this, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think a big part of being a creative is going through these high highs and low lows. You know, you might be on top of the world one moment, and then the next moment, you're like, damn, maybe I should get a job. Maybe I should be a plumber. (laughs) Yeah, I'm like, yo, maybe I should just like, Maybe I should just, but nah, man, stick the chorus, link your barber, and you'll be fine. You're hearing this when you're walking out there, eh? That star walking down the street after the haircut. Yeah. You think what's happening, baby? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing one of these. Yeah. Hey, baby, over here, baby. I slapped the yeah, yeah. I slapped the dog shit out of you, bitch. Oh, Let's go. like that, like that scene from Spider-Man when, he, when he's uh, when no, he no, no. We're talking Dolomite, on. young man. 
<laughs> that's that BG shit right there. But we talking Dolomite really right now like on some pimp I shit. really felt like that. Don't you feel like after you get like a lineup or a haircut, it almost like gives you a mental health boost? I don't know what it, it is. Does. It does. It it's does. It's better than a therapy session. I feel like, and my barber's not like me and my barber are talking about like my problems. We're talking about random stuff. But afterwards, you just feel like, yo, like, shit could be worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, look good, feel good, bro. I yeah. honestly believe yeah, in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It could be good. worse. Yeah, man. No. Well, salute to your barber. Yes, salute yes, to your yes, haircut. Salute to Bert. Bert yeah, the barber. Give him a shout out, doc. Yeah. Bert the barber. Bert the barber. And and everybody else's week has been good. Nice and yeah, yeah. Yo, actually, we were talking about barbers too. We got a haircut in uh, the middle of Eden Center with this one. Oh, yeah, con- you told me about that. Yeah, this one content creator was just walking around Eden Center, like you know, pulling people aside and then telling them, "Yo, if you guess this question right, it was trivia. We'll mm-hmm. Cut your hair." So. We've been out doing content shoots and all that stuff, and that was pretty cool. You know, bumping into somebody, getting a haircut in the middle of like the parking lot of Eden Center, <laughs> bro. And it was a good haircut. A lot yeah, of just mother- can't do that. Did he, did he give you a good cut? Yeah, it was good. My good. my boy got a cut, like a lineup and everything. He's yeah. actually pretty. Sick. But do yo? Did he have like a sanitizer? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he the came, man probably did a couple bums, bro. Like, let's be real. He had his, he had everything about professional. Everything. Okay, he okay, did, okay. He did those videos where like you change a homeless man's life by giving him a haircut, and then, cut, and then cut, right B3. after he linked me. Do you know has lice? Like that. Yeah, hepatitis like, God, C. Damn, God, 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 I, I see his content. I got scabies. Got rabies and all that <laughs> shit. Mother. Check back on him in a week, bro. We gonna go looking for him, dog. Yo, shout him out. Shout him out. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he goes by. Here, I can pull it up. Pull yeah, pull them up. Right um, Haircuts in the mall. That's sick. That is, yeah, man. You got to get creative with the marketing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hughes, Hughes, K, KI Fades. Hughes, KI Fades? Yeah. Salute to Hughes, KI Fades, Salute, man. man. Give him a little air Yeah, he's pretty sick. There. Hey, yo, it's all the barbers out there. It's good to see like a lot more people up in Eden Center doing more content, more like approaching people on the street and stuff. Mm-hmm. I like to see that, you know, like. Asking questions or reviewing a song or reviewing a beat, you know, I want that's something I want to get into as well. So seeing other people do that and like being lucky enough to be one of the people that he bumps into and gets something done, you know. I like those, but I don't like when they're like, "How many bodies you got?" Oh like, yeah, what's yeah, the yeah. worst? What's the worst no, no. school in Mississauga? This one like, was more wholesome. Those, are kids. those, are, kids. those are, kids. are kids. This they was kids. this one was more wholesome. It's something like he's talented at. So he's like, "Yo, let me give you a free cut." You all, yeah. you, bro. The, the the trivia question was. Guess what I drew? And he drew a sneaker. And we all were like Air, Air Force's sneakers. And he's like, yeah, cool. It was an easy question. I just wanted to cut hair. I and read so, it. He's like that. What's that one white dude in the States who does that? Vince something? Vince Cuts or something? Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, yeah, he he yeah. goes and he's like, I just want to give you a free cut and maybe bless your life a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, salute to us. City all needs the, more of that. Yeah, stuff, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, salute to content creators out there. Salute to the haircut people out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what about you? Yeah, we've yeah, been Friday, big dog. I got a cut too. Big salute to Rock the House Barbershop. Yes, 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 yes. The barbers are getting yeah. the shout yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back from Jamaica. That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? Welcome. And and just been out here, bro. Freaking doing content, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cutting more content, man. Taking taking a look at the scene. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a few things I want to get into as far as the scene. Big salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club, with delivery all over the GTA and now all across Canada. They got the best selection of flour, edibles, and pens, and all types of goodies that you need. You can find them on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada, or you can find them on the Seven Days of Weed app as well as the Leafy Things app. Let them know that you heard about them through the We Love Hip Hop Network, and they may give you a discount. Big salute to Diamond Club. Cheer! Did y'all did y'all check out that Joe Rogan, um, Cat Williams interview course, on YouTube bro. now? Of course, yeah. I watched yeah. all three hours. Three hours. Come on, dog. on YouTube, on YouTube. So on welcome YouTube. back to YouTube to Joe Rogan because yeah, that's yeah. like a big deal. That's, big deal. That's even going to affect the YouTube space even for podcasting because yeah, a lot of people tune into Joe Rogan. Long yeah. form podcasting, yeah. especially yeah. three yeah. hours long. <sighs> I wasn't really that impressed. I knew you wouldn't have been. (laughs) I knew this motherfucker wouldn't have been. Sorry to swear, guys. Yeah, man. I was like, bro, get to the shits, bro. I was waiting like, fam. No. Are you not going to address the the five non-funny comedians that you always be going on Joe, uh, having on Joe Rogan? None of that was addressed. I get, I'm into some of the talk that they were talking about space and. Yeah. Both. Anunnaki. They're going, they're going crazy. They went nice. But. Bro, get to the shits, man. Ah, see. It's a wasted three hours, in my opinion. Nope. Nope. 
the, that's what makes Joe Rogan different, though. I feel like he's not really like oh, a Joe journalist. Rogan. Zooming Ooh. off of some shrooms. You can see it. <laughs> it was a Zoot conversation. It was yeah. zooming. And he was just like happy to have this black man in his goddamn studio right now. And he's waiting for that viral moment. But see, I think uh, Kat learned something in the last three From weeks. the Shannon Sharp thing? Mm. Yeah, he made these guys more famous now. Everybody started getting interviews all of a sudden. Yeah, right. So and which, if, if he was, if if he was ready to open it up, he loves those guys. That's what I think. Now, like he wanted to open it up for them mm. so that some more light comes to the comedian world. Because now all of a sudden, comedians have beef like rappers do. Yeah, let's be honest, right? Now, uh, what's his name just dropped something on the Dave Chappelle, uh, with with Netflix. Oh, Donald Rollins. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So everything is 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 kind of playing out the way it should be playing out for comedy right now now if those are and now i'm just being real mm. why i knew he wasn't gonna drop it because i'm a big cat williams fan he's very strategic and he a gangster mm. so he's showing it like what if you if the five worst comics that are on this goddamn platform and i know they're winning and i'm the best i'm not mentioning them mm. Yeah. And they were twiddling their thumbs, waiting for Bert Christ Kat. was at home with his shirt off, like, mention me. Yeah, and in his underwear. <laughs> it's just like, he's going to do it. And then he didn't do it. That's what has it has me now. Like, ha, I won't be seeing none of those five worst comedians anymore mm. going anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's how you shut but, show business down. I have a question. Yeah. Why do you feel like the tone of the Cat Williams, Shannon Sharp interview was so much more different? than the Joe Rogan Cat Williams. Do you feel like there could be some type of difference in like racial dynamics where it's like maybe Cat Williams felt more comfortable giving Shannon Sharp the full-fledged... The viral stuff. Yeah, whereas with Joe Rogan, it was super toned down. It was super like... It was very like cryptic. Like my homie DJ Natural, he was telling me like, yo, like they were speaking almost like you got to listen to what they're saying under just the plain words because they don't want to say too much. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Why do you think there was a difference in approach? And I'm saying this slowly because we're fixing the <laughs> microphone right now. So I'll follow me at second. DJ's RTV in the meantime. I'll tell you. <laughs> 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 Burrow Sound TV as well. 25th Hour Studios. We are accepting clients. You know what I'm saying? Big up DJ Natural. Big Episode up Episode 450 is kind of <laughs> having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Just okay. a little bit. I, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I'll give you my reason why I think. Why? Um. Shannon Sharp is doing his thing. Mm. He's building. He was building his show. His show was already getting his enough, no, getting some notoriety. He has some great guests, okay. But Joe Rogan's already the shit. He's already the top podcaster. So he can't wild out like that. No, no. I'm gonna bless Shannon Sharp and give him his moment. Yes. Right. Mm. Bless my brother. Put him on. Now he's off to the races. Yep. Now all his interviews are going crazy, mm. getting oh, crazy boy, numbers. Him, he's popping up all over. He has his multiple shows that he's doing. Shannon Sharp is the guy. This is his moment right now. Yeah. And based off that Cat Williams interview is why that moment happened. Like mm. <clears throat> every show, and we were talking about this a little bit off off air. Every podcast show or whatever gets a moment, and yep. when that moment happens, you're off to the races. Mm -hmm. The show could have been in existence before. Most of the time, it is Breakfast Club. They were around for a few years. And then Ray J called in that one time and wilded it out on Fabulous. Mm -hmm. And they were off to the races. Charlemagne talks about this all the time. Like, he gives Ray J his props for that moment. We love hip-hop. 46 Lope. episodes. Biz Lope pops up in episode 47. We're off to the races. Mm -hmm. Right? So Shannon Sharp, he's doing this thing. It shows getting its views, hundreds of thousands of views. Cat Williams goes crazy. That one's at like 60 million. And everything else goes a million now. Mm. So I don't need to bless Joe Rogan. I can go to Joe Rogan and just talk high shit for three hours. Mm. But when I go over to Shannon Sharp, one of my brothers, I'm going to give him that crazy I'm shit. give him that work. Yeah, mm. and make, that, make his views go up. Yeah. Mm. So if it's a racial dynamic thing, it's, yeah, I'm going to look out for my brothers. But if I, it's a power structure thing, Joe Rogan's already up. Yeah, mm. but I also go with, um, I would also go with the uh, content. Mm. Content. What do you mean? Shannon Sharp's a sports guy. Yeah, yeah. And he 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 he's already interviewed comedians. Mm. Right? Now, none of those other comedians have made it pop the way Cat Williams made it pop because Cat Williams came in there and, and stood on business. Mm. Now, people don't really know the other side of Cat Williams. If they miss the Shannon Sharp, and I'm going to be real, for the white audience, if they miss the Shannon Sharp, like, what's the whole thing about this Cat Williams guy? Yeah. 
this is where now they're going to really realize this Cat Williams guy isn't just your basic, but I'm going to be real right now, nigga. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. They've seen another side to this black man. So they're going to be like, what? He's talking about, he's quoting things from the Bible, guys. Yeah. Now, that's a side a lot of people don't see from him on his uh, stand-up com- comical side because mm. when he first came into the game, I'll, I'll tell you this, you he thought was he was a pimp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When really he was acting. A very literate, super well-read person, but his comedy is that's not that doesn't reflect his comedy style. His comedy style is more relatable, but mm. he's talking about how he's read. He used to just only that, read all day. All, you know what day, I'm saying? Ah, uh, uh, and that's the part where you're not gonna you're you're gonna be like, yo, I thought he was a nigga. I thought he was just a pimp. Listen, can I say something about that book reading thing though? You, know, you don't <laughs> buy it, eh? <laughs> I'm not buying it, bro. No, and yo. I think Joe kind of caught him on there too, fam. Because he said the thing about the 3,000 Yeah, 3,000, yeah. Or th- over 3,000 books between the age of 8 and 12. Okay? So, it's yeah. not like he said over his lifetime. Over the, Between the ages 8 and 12, <laughs> he read over 3,000 books. And even more of that, because I had to use other books to understand the books. Yeah. Right? He said he read th- three little women or three, yeah, three women. Or no, three little women. Three little yeah. women. Four times. Yeah. yeah. Joe's like, wow, cool. That's crazy. What's that about? Uh, uh, but it was so long ago. It, you know, it's about three women. That's for sure. But because I didn't have sisters, it, it I wasn't couldn't, relatable. Couldn't, it wasn't really completely relate. What's the book about, my nigga? You read it four times. Just tell me what the book's but about. If he was smart enough, you would have went and watched the movie. You didn't read the bad damn book, fam. You didn't read it four times neither, or you would have been able to tell me what Three yo, Little yo, Women yo, is yo, about. Yo, 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 yo. It's fine. You could have read over a thousand books. You could have read mad books, but because he put that number, 3,000 something, he has to find a way to but, stand on ah, it. Now, but this bro. is where he gets you. Put something. You want a nigga not to know something? Put, put it, it in, in a book. book. So what he's but trying 3,000 of them? I don't care. Right now, if you, I will pump fake any kid. I'll make a midget think he could slam dunk. Uh, so what he's taking <laughs> what? it back to is the, the back in the day shit with reading Rainbow. Take a look. It's in a book. Okay, yes. he's getting us back onto this book shit because, like, if, if like, let's just say internet crash tomorrow, what are you gonna do? Uh, okay, thank you. Great. Now, now he <laughs> wants it. Now, what he's gonna win is by saying to like, if he can teach you right now as any kid, he's gonna teach you start reading books. Mm. Knowledge is key. Yeah. That is where you get most of your knowledge. Information. Yeah. I don't care if I got to lie to my kid. <laughs> Thank you. I don't care. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Yeah. But this is where Cat gets me because okay. that's okay. my uncle. This okay. under, that's as uncle long Kat. as you identify that there is a little bit of cap in there. There's, it's, there's a good intention, but there's cappuccino. some cap in there. He has a big <laughs> cup of like cap. three thousand between eight and twelve is wild. Bro. I know, but <laughs> but I'm I, but I'm just telling you. He'll make him, he, like I said, if he got to lie to you, <laughs> if I got to lie to you for you to start reading books, as push the, the truth you, a bit. <laughs> I'm going to make a midget think he can slam dunk. Okay. And we're going to go from there. And you're going to come back to me and say, Cat or Dusty, you know, I read 2,000 books last year. And I'll be like, good. Because I never. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you did. I got the mission completed. Mission of completion. Yeah, all right. Because all these little kids are stuck in. He's, he's giving us messages. He's giving us little, yeah. little, little things to show us like, yo, don't get too 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 bound, wound it up into this phone shit. Don't get too wound it up into this internet shit. Use your imagination. Go read some books. Yeah. I, I maybe may cap have a big cup of cappuccino for you guys right now. Cap Williams. You know dude. what I'm cap, saying? Cap Williams. A little bit of cap. Well, yo, Williams. he could he could promote reading. He put it on himself by saying three thousand books. He could have just been Challenge. like, I used to read a lot. Nah, that's these not good my, enough. These are the books I know about. <laughs> that ain't good enough. You should read. Nah. The man no, 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 no. That's number. believable. I, 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 I'm, I'm with Dusty. You gotta get. You gotta say something outlandish so it makes shock. a headline. Thank you, the shock value. Thank you. And now the, the the conversation of reading starts coming up, and then he's like, "Well, yeah, hey. yeah. yo, honestly, I'm a I'm gonna incorporate that when I'm a father and like say my kids I in, lie all the time in track and field. I'm gonna be like, I used to run a five second I was, me. You I, know what I'm saying? Like, gotta, I'm gonna put on a Donovan Bailey. <laughs> you, I used to I'll run put five. on Donovan Bailey's him winning the Olympic one and say that was me. <laughs> Look, you see, that was me. It's kind of grainy. You see, kind of grainy. You see, can't see me, kids. I changed my name. I changed my name. No, your last name is this. You lying. You got to lie to these kids now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make a midget think he can slam dunk because of the fact that a lot of things are on the internet now. And it's like, I can't do that yeah. because someone already else did it. So now kids aren't reading like they used to. They're seeing. They're more seeing. So if I could convince a kid, yo, bro, I used to read 3,000 books because there was no internet, nigga. 
and there's a kid who's smart enough to challenge that, they may just get to that number. Here's the thing, though. You'll get a few kids, but, like, in the end of the day, it's not like a lot of youths are in these millions of people who are watching this. Yeah. There is a lot of kids that are watching because, yeah. obviously, there's millions. But the demo that these guys have been hitting yeah. between... Shannon Sharp and Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's 60 years old. Probably <laughs> above 20 years year old. old above, men are yeah. watching the yes. Joe Rogan. Yeah, 20 to, and yeah. 20 to 50. Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. think he's Shannon young. Sharp. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, guys in their 40s and 50s, yeah. late mm-hmm. 30s, they're yeah. like, yo, let me take this in. So that's a testament to like our demos and stuff too. Like you can get millions of viewers without having to go get the kids to yeah, go I watch your kids. stuff. Kids ain't watching your shit. Kids are just having it on. And mm-hmm. also it's long form content. So, they to get somebody to sit there, there's 7.1 million people who sat and watched this already. Yeah, I, I sat and watched it. Right? Mm-hmm. Even if it's not even the whole three hours or whatever, 7.1 million. Yo, and Shannon Sharp's at like 60 million. A lot of people just have it playing in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. on the way to work, driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I did. I, yeah, I was, I was driving. Um, I, I took it in through Spotify, but I, I was driving listening to it. You know what I'm saying? Then I got into my house and continued watching it. Yeah, same, same. It was... I I... Listen, I kind of struggled to get through the whole thing just because fam, you're I was looking for a mother. I'm waiting for the tea, bro. I'm waiting for the. <laughs> for the you watch the viral moment. The yeah. tempo. Cat will be like, bitch. <laughs> I'm waiting for the clips. I'm like, what am I going to clip? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're not giving you one today. It's Friday. Sorry. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the, yeah. That's the, uh, the pod gods. <laughs> yeah. The pod gods. The pod gods are not you know, fr- fruitful today. But man. you know what I was watching? Not to go off. Mm. Off of what we're talking about. Yeah, okay, well, listen, we can move off of this topic, man. That's what that's what I you guys, Did any of you guys see the doc? No. You need to watch that doc. Um, you guys, you guys you really? need to we, watch it. We, we brought it, down, it up last it week. Yeah. And there was a, you know, we were just talking about it on the way, right? Yeah. But by the time we actually aired the episode, it was out. It's out. Right? It's on Lifetime, but I think it's on streaming platforms now. Yeah, I, watched I watched it on YouTube. I watched you, it on Lifetime. You watched it on Lifetime, I got man. From, I watched it from 8 o'clock to 1 in the goddamn morning. It was amazing, but so, each, crazy. Yeah, so it's following her around um, on her journey trying to get back into Hollywood or get back on air. Yeah. She, was, she has this thing in her mind because, remember, she has dementia, okay? Mm. She has this thing in her mind that she's going to be doing a podcast, okay? And she's going to be pitching it to NBC and Ray Tay Tay, and all the people that are around her are just enabling this delusion yeah. to the point where, like, they brought her to NBC. They brought her yeah. to to the offices in LA. Yeah. Her manager was Will, like, Will, Will, he was Selby. mad. Yo, like, bro. yo, what are you doing? Why, why is she out of her house? She, they brought her to the, to the meeting. They didn't show what happened in the meeting. But after that meeting, she has in her head, I'm coming back to TV. So they're following her in this, through this delusion, fam. In, bro, in her delusional episodes. state, while yeah. she's kind of going through it. That's yes. kind of wrong. So you know what I, would, I was saying? I go, this, I think she, she pump faking us. Mm. That's something that's going around the internet right now. Because her husband, her ex-husband, the child's father, controls the money. Yeah, yeah. So Kelvin. if you watch this, all she's complaining about is my money. So if she if she could play like she's kind of sick, she's falling off, and da 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 da, mm. and it's out in the open in the public, and this and the the banks can see this, they'll stop the process of him taking the money because there's other people caretaking for her. Oh, yeah, no. there's a guardianship that they don't really mention. That's, yes, and that's gonna have to be renewed right now. Mm. But in my head, I'm like, bitch, you are on. You are on TV. I'm watching you right now. Yeah, right. But who put? Who allowed the documentary? Is what I'm wondering because she did. But she's not in her right mind. Yes, you she can't is. Look. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. You don't think she actually has dementia? My grandmother has dementia right now, and she'll tell you every quote from the Bible. Stop this, and she's had nah, it longer than fam. this lady. Bam. Nah, fam. My mom's past. I watched my mom. Yes, but de- 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 dehabilitate through dementia. How long? I'm watching. How long does it take? May I ask? It, it took a good ten years for it Thank to get to that you. point. Thank you. But like the early signs, fam. I'm it. sorry, fam. No, no, no I see it too with my grandmother too. This Wendy Williams documentary, watching yeah. the way she was moving, it was she got that shit, bro. Okay. She's okay. she's she's the not part, there. The fam. part where it has me though is when the eyes opening up and yeah, you can see through your soul. Like that's how I'm feeling, right? But she's not when she's looking when 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 she's just staring in those yeah, scenes yeah, yeah. at people when they're talking to her. That's episodes. Yeah, I don't think she's even seeing the person that she that she's talking. Yeah, it's like she just like she's zones out. 
You know fam. what I'm saying? But I like, was, I, it was crazy, fam. They had, she's packing up her shit to go to LA, LA. and there has been no deal signed. She fired Will. I didn't even get to that she part. She fired Will Selby. She said, yo, he's fired when he was like mad about her being in LA. And this was filmed last year or 2000, no, 20, yeah, 2022 was filmed. Yeah, yeah. So she's so who knows what's worse. going on with her now? She's gotten worse, probably. So you're, you're saying there's an issue with uh, her ex husband controlling the money? Mm. It, it kind of reminds me of what happened with Britney Spears. And it was she the was same the first thing. one to be on the bandwagon saying like free Britney, free Britney, free Britney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Britney had to kind of make herself kind of go crazy and like shaved her head, Thank did all this you. stuff. <laughs> so Thank that could you. be a play, but it has to be a play. Actually, the timeline is kind of messed up on that because after she shaved her head and all that is when they started going for the conservatorship, right? Mm-hmm. They were like, yo, oh, she's... I, I, she's I, I, I listened to the whole book. Yeah, right? yeah. I, that, that Britney book that came yeah. out the other day, yeah, yeah. amazing book. Mm-hmm. But they ran the conservatorship after she started crashing out, okay? Mm-hmm. And then when they, when they finally got it locked in, yeah. she had to go through all these different things to prove that she's not. And she didn't even know that she can go get a lawyer for the longest time until somebody put her on. Yeah. And then, then she started the legal process and then she find me out of it. Some people are like, mm, it might be a mistake because like she's there dancing with knives and shit and going crazy now. But I think Britney's all right. Mm. I don't want to. But Wendy ain't. I didn't want to. I hope I didn't sound ignorant, guys. No. Nah. Because uh, I do have a little bit of knowledge about dementia because my grandmother is going through it right now. Yeah. Right on mm-hmm. my father's side. So and she's been diagnosed from like three years ago. Mm-hmm. So I've seen obviously the little bit of the. It's forgetting both. stuff oh but bro retelling like, story yeah yeah how she got here and how i got here mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. trust me but there's a part of me where sometimes between me and you i hope she don't see this like me and my aunt or something like, she's playing me. nah I mean, sometimes i'm being real sometimes you know black people no be, but it's natural it's natural not, yeah. and what you're going through because like there's studies on like there's there's videos on it and stuff like that yeah at first to be honest, it gets annoying, right? That's what it is, probably. Because you don't know, really. If they're playing around. But then once it starts getting worse, you're like, you start backtracking, like, oh, they were going through it then, yeah. mm-hmm. right? But it's only in hindsight when they start, like, getting to the point where, like, they're, they start seeing you as a kid. Like, it gets wild, fam. This is the part, you know what too. You'll walk in the room. Like, it gets to the point where, like, you walk in the room, they don't even know who you are. No, they'll be talking to like talking to you like you somebody else. And you're like, no, nah, I'm Dusty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's the when yeah, it gets yeah. to that point. Think I'm think think I'm my pops. Right? Her son, her first son. Yeah, 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 yeah. It gets crazy. So you, the early signs is just like little things, little things, little things. And then it just progresses. Remember, they don't have no cure for this thing. Right? Mm. It's all in the end, but I but oh, whoa, whoa. food news. I heard it is. I heard a lot of it is diet. Like diet. apparently, dementia is almost like a diet, 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 diabetes diet. kind of yes, thing. Yes, yeah. it's the food, we insulin, are sugar that make you uh, suffer from that. Also, alcohol. They say. Well, hers is definitely alcohol induced because that's what they said in the doc. That's her problem, right? It was alcohol induced dementia. Right? Yeah. And even in the in the doc, they're giving her alcohol, but her manager, the guy that she fired yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. was like, "I don't want her to drink." And she said, with the husband, like. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm not with my husband because of my, you know, I love alcohol. Did you see her feet? Yo, her feet are messed. She looked like she got elephantitis. In her stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, oh. and she, but that was part of her thing. I'm going to show them my feet and I'm going to take off my wig. And it's like, bro, I don't, that's not even, don't that don't even do sound it. like a hot plan. Don't do it. <laughs> right? Don't do it. it it's, yo, I watched it on YouTube. Unfortunately, no comments. you can't, <laughs> the YouTube that I went and watched it on, I went and checked for it after. It was gone because, you know, you can't have that on YouTube. Mm-hmm. The wild thing, I'm, I'm there watching it. And listen, I don't know if I can get in trouble for this because, like, it's piracy. It goes closer. <laughs> and, then it, and then it No, no, it goes closer to the frame and then it uh, zooms back out to the normal frame. Uh, so the bootlegs yeah. are, it's, the bootlegs. Like, it's rough oh, to go oh, through, yeah, right? Yeah, Because, yeah, yeah. like, every time it goes to another scene, the scene starts and it goes closer. Like, the words will be, like, super close. Yeah. And yeah, you'll yeah. only see, like, five of them. They got that it, with the Family Guy episodes and, like, the show uh, episodes. Those, on them ones are rough, bro. Nah, the I bootlegs. Right I went right to Lifetime, watched that. Live. I had to see it, man. But to. listen, man, pray for Wendy Williams. Yeah, man. pray for her, guys. That's sad. Um, 
can we get to this Meek Mill stuff, yo? <laughs> Freak <laughs> Mill! Right? Uh, it's still happening. I, we could literally probably just go on YouTube Let's right go. now and see what academics are saying. He might still be talking about Meek, <laughs> to be honest. Hey, wait, do you think there's any chance that these are just allegations and they're not true? Or you think for sure Diddy kind of... Okay, so let's set it up, Diddy. right? This producer named Lil Rod came oh, out with a fuck. big oh 73... Lil Rod already. Hey, yo, pause. Hey, my bad. Yo, <laughs> yo. And it was downhill from there. <laughs> Grown men. But this, this little Rod... That thing. answers your question. Right? Enough said, right? <laughs> Enough no. said. Done. Well, the guy, we put a 73-page lawsuit out against Diddy, uh, alleging that there was a bunch of different, you know, S allegations... Um, Diddy was showing him videos of Stevie J, producer Stevie J, <laughs> smashing somebody. Um, there was um, allegations that a rapper from Philly who dated Nicki, Nicki Minaj, Minaj yeah. was was involved in an activity with Diddy, as well as an R and B singer who recently did the Super Bowl and has a Las Vegas residency. It's like. Oh. I wonder who it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Like he was going in on his little his little lawsuit, right? And there was other things in there, like underage um, yeah. prosties and but stuff like that. His son, his son got got charged with it. Justin's is in there is in the lawsuit. Like the, he goes in, and apparently he never got paid for a bunch of royalties from the Love album from last year. Mm -hmm. So this is a recent this is stuff a, that he's saying. This is a disgruntled employee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, maybe some of that stuff may stick. But a lot of that ain't. And if a bunch of that stuff can't stick, then just throw out the whole damn lawsuit. Because, like, the girls already came out and said, uh, we're not underage. I got, I'm, like, 30-something with a kid. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> right? Don't make me look crazy. <laughs> right? The, the, the guy in the Stevie J thing in the Stevie J video said, no, that's not Stevie J. That's me, and I'm a prawn star who does videos already. Like, sorry. So there's two things that are already capped. But Meek couldn't just wait or just say, Nah, that's cap, and then keep it moving. He had to go crazy. He made it worse, do you think, on himself? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now he's got beef with Ack because Ack is the one of the first people who reported on the the, the, the pages of the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And he pulled up the, oh, a Philly rapper, da, da, da. And they were like, you know that they're talking about Meek, right? He was first to the fucking party. <laughs> the party yeah. party. <laughs> yeah, but Meek don't know the internet then because he should have opened up that because... Ak was like, I don't think he's gay. Ak was kind of protecting. He said him, that man. off top, right? But right away, nigga jumped through a closed window. You gay? <sighs> he gay? Bro, he went off. He to the point where he's he, saying like, I'm gonna pull up to your studio, pee on your, pee on your steps. Like, we don't want to see your John's Dickens dog. See, this is the thing. Another part of him. There's a pause. Like it's just a lot of pausing he's doing. And all the memes that are starting to pop up with. Meek, look, I just put Meek in Twitter and it says Meek, Meek Milk Gay. <laughs> okay, so is this the ritual embarrassment? Yes. Oh. oh whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. What sorry, happened? Gang. Sorry, gang. Sorry. I've seen it. <laughs> it, was it. Was it his sex tape? No. Oh, I don't think so. I don't want to know. <laughs> What's this? It probably is. Sorry, guys. Well, like that that would hit you. Do not search Meek uh, Mill Gay on Twitter. Everybody looks no, that's, sus hey, right now, no, dog. No, that, How come that, all these little niggas look him. sus now, bro? Yo, I knew that's, it. That's the thing. I've never liked his music. That's not him, is it? No, no, fam. Don't do that. I've never liked. Can his we music. not do that, now fam? All his pics. You're just gonna look tell me you never like <laughs> dreams and nightmares, bro. You're gonna see all Meek my Mill niggas come through in the comments and tell you. Dusty's never been a Meek Mills fan. Never. You have never liked. Never been a Meek Mills fan, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. And, and this is what they've been waiting for? Uh, I hate this fucking song. I like Actually, this that's when I want to leave. Grind like that. That's when it's time like to leave this. a lot. That's when it's time for me to leave. <laughs> when you this, when you this song, <laughs> I ask anybody that know D. Wallace, dog, they'll tell you Meat Mill. Has, I've never been a fan of Meat Mill. Why, that. though? I'm more of a fan he can of, rap. of Nicki. He can rap, though. Let's no, be honest. You no, don't he think can't he's a good me. rapper. No. No, I, have you heard "Pray for Him"? Remember when he did that Drake? He Yo, bro, Drake that that nigga, that nigga looked like his bread stink from when it, way back when he was battling with the braids, the cornrows that looked like they ain't been braided for eight weeks. Stop yeah. it! 
You don't like this song either. Make it clear. I've heard a one or two. I like here. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'm really good at this, hey guys. I am really, really good at this. I swear to God. I said it to myself this morning. I'm like, I just know when they're all fruity for some weird reason. I never liked their music. Gator is high. Yeah, there's another rapper too. I was. I can't remember. It just it came to me. But I, I, I forgot right now in the in the moment. But there was another rapper too that I was like, I've never liked the music, and they're out, the allegations have been out about them too. Busta? No, I'm a Busta fan. Um, it's Busta. I didn't say that. Oh, <laughs> that well, wasn't Friday, Ricky Tran. Even though it kind of sounded yourself, like it. <laughs> Wait, Busta is gay? Whoa, 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 who was alleging it, Friday? <laughs> we try. Wait, we, what? We don't get people into trouble over here. What? Oh, and nobody man. ever heard that nothing like all, that in wait, Toronto. Oh, we've heard oh, it many, no. many times. We've heard nobody it many ever times. heard the story about Split Star sitting in his lap. And yeah, saying, all, oh, that, oh, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. Heard all that. Heard all that. Heard all that. Heard all that. And I'll tell you this: I've never moved for a lot of these artists that Put I've. Put your hands where my eyes can see for real. Ooh, yo, these. <laughs> This made me look at all the lyrics really differently now. <laughs> like, it, it, they really do. Touch it, tease it. Like, even just now when Meat Mill was just looking to us in, in the camera, I couldn't look at him back. Because it just now it feels I'm like, afraid to go back on Twitter in that like, space it, it, over there. Like, I think more put guys who stigma on you. And I'm sorry to say, but, like, it's almost like if you're a straight man, um, that's a stigma. You know what I'm saying? So if someone puts that on you, bro, it's very hard to, like, have someone st- who doesn't know you now we don't know him personally like that like, like he could be in his mansion right now running around like the whole world thinks i'm getting or he could be running around his mansion like saucy santana right now in high heels like i don't give a damn right there's, only, there's two ways about this now so i'm in my head like you you can ne- like you know what i mean the stigma just seeing him it's now true. like even dwight howard like dwight howard yeah. after that well, even okay. eddie murphy with the eddie, trans, uh, like, like I'm, i get yeah, 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 yeah but that didn't kill those guys well dwight howard them. he was already like, retired pretty much right that didn't yeah. no he was trying to get back on the usa dream team they're like I mean, hell yeah. no now, now you he, ain't uh, coming in the locker right, room right, now right. now he's in china i think he's somewhere overseas yeah we're no thailand we're in bangkok you got where 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 you can do a lot he literally moved to bangkok he literally moved to bangkok to get back the bangkok for Lot. Some let me power. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, no. like, bro, this is crazy. Like, and I'm just. Oh, hiya. Yes. <laughs> hiya. Um, quick fast. No, because he did drop something, right? He dropped a, a mixtape, right? Um, actually, yes. let me go on Spotify and see if I can see this mixtape because Ak is kicking his back in. Like, I'm just looking at a tweet from four hours ago. So, Ak woke up. And right now, for like it's like two o'clock in the afternoon for us who are like filming this in real time right now. So he act woke up with violence on his mind, bro. Damn like right. he's streaming right now, and he's saying that the man only um sold thirty five hundred copies, bro. Ak is a Jamaican, guys. Always remember that. Oh, that's low. Remember when they tried to put oh. the Mati Mati on him too? On, look, on Ak? and he 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 killed that. He killed that. But look. Heathenism is the name of the mixtape. No. This is getting bad to work. This went from bad Here's to worse. Here's the titles. Guys. Came from the bottom is the first album. This oh. is madness, bro. Oh, yo. Okay. Yo. Can we go? <laughs> yo. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, bro. Stars oh, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, yeah. See these guys and they're subliminal oh, with it. There's yo, more. There's more. No, this one's Times Like This truth. is the second song. It's not hiding. Whatever I Want. Oh. Song number three. Big Boy is song Big number boy. four. Number four, given Ch- giving Chanel says that's if uh, we if we line it up correctly, right? Given Chanel came, or given. he came from the bottom because he's the bottom, right? Oh. For in times like this, oh my he God. can give you whatever you want, what? big boy. Wow, that's and after all of that, to I'm him. gonna give you Chanel. This is what the billionaire this guy who crazy, made him man. jump around like a bunny. It all connects. <laughs> Wait, what are this those stream? Crazy, num- what are the stream numbers at? I see all of them are uh, just all his six, little buddy friends. Digits, but like those could be bought. Two eight, two eighteen on the first one, one ninety eight thousand on the second one, one eighty seven on the third one, one fifty five, and then the last one giving Chanel is four hundred and ninety eight. So they, that's these are low for him. They low ruined him. him in the span of forty eight hours. They say, yeah, boy. Well, that's what he was saying that this was a whole plan. Now, do you think? that these streams would have been as low if he didn't get hit with this whole gay rumor. 
Yeah, that trip is still would have been because he's shit to me. I'm telling you, Man, it's not like <laughs> no, it was hot. I think they would. I think they would be higher. I don't think he's a shit rapper. Me neither. I don't, I don't think he's a rap. I think fun. they would have been higher. Me but yo, can nothing. we not forget? Low for much him. higher. I think this is low for him. Right? It's obviously low, but how much higher do you think it would have been? Significantly higher. Okay, but you like oh, like a fifty thousand sales in 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 one week type higher? No. Mm. But yo, Friday, let's not forget Meek Mill was kind of like the prison reform, the face of prison reform. Yeah. And like there was like there was an <laughs> issue with him in the system. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not saying the allegations are false. I'm not saying the allegations are true. But mm. like, let's not forget the context of who Meek Mill was. Like he was kind of like the spokesperson for prison reform. He had Jay-Z and people yeah. vouching for him. So is the, could this be kind of like a... Like they're trying to like ruin his image kind of thing. It's Cause possible. these are just allegations. Anyone could say, like, yo, this guy did this, this guy did that. How can you prove that? Yeah, well, but at the same time, I know the industry and I know how Diddy gets down. Everyone already kind of knows about that. So it's possible. Yeah, but here's the thing. If that was true, and let's say this is true, he could have also deaded it himself. This is his own fault. If he had just got online and said, Listen, y'all believe all that cap? Just wait till the real sh- till the case is done. I'm off of this. Look out for my album is dropping tomorrow, mm. and then done. But the but the the mixtape doesn't really help either. All the names. Well, yeah. that don't help. <laughs> but it also doesn't not help no, at all. But I'm this saying if he came out and said, if he came out and said like it's what you just said and mm. did, did that exactly that and then dropped this, it would still open the door for like controversy. Like yes. Was still... But he also opened the door with the multiple tweets. He tweeted yeah. for 48 hours <laughs> that's, straight. Oh, that's like I'm not gay. I like pussy so much that, you know, uh, it's like a high for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a high for me. <laughs> We're in trouble here, guys. Yeah, when no, he it, says something like, I, it's like, I run I through like red. If you, to, if you have to argue it, you're, you're, you're yeah, hiding you something. If you have to over argue it, you're hiding something. Shouldn't even feel ashamed. Anybody can call you whatever they want. Yeah, you yeah. Going, you and God know say you aren't taking no ting in your bum hole. You should not be on the internet saying anything else. You should have just laughed that off. Yeah. I mean, like, go buy my album. Getting worked he up like that. Sent a video. He should have sent a video of him with like a shotty, just like this. And just nah, not nah, even nah, 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 They would have flipped that and said, that's a train. <laughs> yeah, dude, listen, just, <laughs> you know just, what I mean, right? Yeah. Don't, yeah. Or yeah, don't yeah. even tweet. Take the approach that of his mentor, Jay-Z. Don't even respond. Say nothing. Mm. Yeah, the best response is no response. Yeah. And, and this is what it is. Let's just say this was like, oh, Someone did this on purpose, right? To make you to me to think that oh, if you look like you're LGBTQ A B C D E F G, oh Flip Wilson, your sales are gonna go up here. Uh, wrong, buddy. Not if you're a gangster rapper. You not did, if you're a gangster. Not rapper. if you're a gangster rapper. And now you have me suspect about every time you went to the Dick Factory. Mm-hmm. Why are you such a spokesperson for the Dick Factory? Mm-hmm. That's not glorified. You, di- reform too much. Can't, you can't be glorifying the Dick Factory. <laughs> Hell no. I have a mo. question for y'all. Mm. What if Meek Mill is like, you know what? And he comes out and he's like, I am. I'd rather you do that, buddy. I would do listen. you think that would help no, from done. his situation he's today? Fine. He's done. Uh, yeah. Done. Yeah. done. Yeah. Fire trucks are outside. Because he's a door. gangster rapper. Listen, you see there's two people who were named in that lawsuit that were redacted. It was him and Usher. Okay? I don't think it affects Usher as much. Because, and... This conversation was being uh, brought right. up on the Joe um, Button podcast earlier, and they were trying to figure out why Usher wasn't getting the same issue as, as Meek Mill. And they were saying it's because they like Usher and they don't like Meek Mill. That's true in one sense, but it's because Usher's an R&B singer and he's not trying to be a gangster rapper. Mm. If Meek Mill wasn't even a gangster rapper, if he was just like some soft rapper, or emo Will rapper, Will, <laughs> not even Will Smith, like an emo in my, I was talking oh, about my feelings rapper. Or like a Lil Zen or something. Yeah, yeah, like, we can no, no, flip that. That other one there that uh, Joe Budden hates. Um, logic. Logic. If it was <laughs> Logic and a gay rumor came out about Logic and he was like, okay, yeah, I'm bisexual. Fine. That, be like, that, that makes sense. Be, that it, makes sense. He would actually get more sales. sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you know what I'm yeah, that's what I'm trying base, to say. His fan base This is, is something gone wrong. This is like, if you were trying to think like, oh, let's make him sound A, B, C, D, L, G, B, Q. Wrong rapper. <laughs> wrong guy. Wrong, yeah, wrong plan. You're, you, you, you push jail reform. You're talking about dirt bikes and shooting at niggas and all types of stuff. Then he has you can't be like, oh, yeah, and also I'll take a couple of dicks. Pause. <laughs> like, no, you're not Frank Ocean. It don't work. Yeah, it's not the uh, same. But even with Frank Ocean, when I found out he was kind of swinging, I was like, ooh. I've been thinking about you. Yeah. Nah, nah. All those songs sound like, different. Play this How about shit Tyler, no more? Tyler the Creator? It didn't affect a, him at all. He has like more of a white fan base, I would say. That's not He dope. leans into it. Those guys yeah. give drunk hugs. That's okay. 
He's allowed to be at the party and get drunk hugs. What's a but, drunk hug? <laughs> what is the drunk hug? Put me on to. <laughs> you don't know it either. I don't no, know. I thought it was a drunk hug. Is, guys. You know what it is? He's a hugger when he's drunk. You don't know what the drunk. This is. Bro, I, I have in my mind what bro, it could be. Tell this huggers. is what these rappers be going to. These parties, these schmoozing parties, dog. They're called. Yeah, you, you, get the, you get the drunk hug from behind when you, you see s- little baby getting a hug yeah, the from little baby, by the little billionaire. All white, all, That's called white the drunk party. hug. Yeah. You see that party when they were all dressed in white and everything? That's the. Yeah. You get the drunk hug. Did you hear when the, when the guy the guy on the, the plane was telling little baby and Meat Mill, "I'm gonna drunk hug you. I'm yeah. gonna drunk hug you, you and you." Ha! <laughs> this billionaire b- guy friend was like, "Yo, I'm gonna drunk hug." That's a thing. When you, you hear drunk hugs, when you hear they're gonna drunk hug you guys, you rappers. When you hear drunk hugs are guanin, Run. and it's a room full of guys. Run. Bro. <laughs> move. Run. Move. Run. Move out, out the way. This is not the Get party for there. you. Watch your back. Unless you <laughs> into, yeah. Literally, literally, it, 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 it's literally unless you into getting drunk hugged. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They drunk hugging. Drunk hugs is the title today, bro. Drunk not hug. a good look. So I, I interpret that as white boy fun. Yes, no, but, no offense, right? Yes, it is, but it's drunk hugs. Yeah, th- but that all is part of, is under the white boy fun umbrella, yeah, right? The, yeah, like the white frat, boy fun is stuff. like I'll tell you guys a crazy one, right? Like when I was in my uh, hustling I, times. I, oh fuck! I right, many. <laughs> and I, I went to go boy. drop off some some work at a at a one of my customers' house, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a a house with a bunch of white guys. Yeah, house is dirty, just beer going. cans and liquor all over the place. I needed to use the washroom quick, fast, right? So I go to use the washroom. I'm taking a piss. I look on the wall, and there's a picture of the guy who owns the house pissing into his own mouth. So his dick is out in the picture, and like he's peeing into his own mouth. Okay, <laughs> so they were camping. It looked like a camp. Look, look like they were camp. I look to the side and I see that picture, right? Right, and I'm like, Whoa. that's white boy shit. Yeah, right. Because yeah. somebody took the picture, like, yo, dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yo, watch what I'm gonna piss in my mouth, dude. <laughs> Probably well, off of a two four each, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're in the forest having white boy fun. Yeah. I'm gonna put shaving cream on your face when you're sleeping, so yeah. or on your hand, so when you wake up, you or even worse, something else on your Arshan. hand, mm-hmm. so when you wake up, you go. I'll show you some real white, white boy, boy fun. fun. <laughs> some other white boy fun. We used to, I used to hang out with some white boys, and these these guys are cool as. F- Mm. But there used to be this one little bitch used to come around, sorry, and she used to annoy the shit out of us. But she had a habit of drinking beers halfway and putting them down. Mm. So the man them said, Nia, hey, bitch, you're going to learn a lesson today. But one of those half beers, full of pee. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew, it. That was I coming. knew we, it. We would fucking even pop back the cap on, throw it in the freezer, brew it down a bit. Don't get a great nice little chill on it for her and everything when she would come she'd be like, yeah here you go here you want to you know what i'm saying that's white boy fun mm-hmm. yeah. at its best don't make you drink pee watch out yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. just drunk wild stupid yeah. shit yeah yeah you you don't as some white guys don't tell me that you guys not and haven't witnessed or maybe no they get touchy though they get touchy though yeah, yeah, they get, yeah. things get touchy that's where that's where the drunk hug comes from. Bro, trust me. Even like white boys, like in my high school and shit, like, bro, people used to be like, oh, you're looking fucking cute today. Like they would, yeah. but it was like, it was yeah, more yeah. like a joke. Like yeah, it wasn't yeah, gay, yeah, but, yeah. but it, it was, it was weird. It was yeah, it was it's weird. Gay. You know, or like they grope up on you, like grab your, cause I was, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got white boys, man. I got white guy friends to this day that I try that shit and gotta be like, hey, 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 buddy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, come on, bro. I'll go home, eh? Yeah. I gotta be like, I'll go home, bro. Like, come on, guys. I used to work construction for a little bit, and it was like all these like Portuguese, European dudes. They're older too, all married, all have kids. Bro, it was too much testosterone. It was like, it was like gay, but it was for like almost like <laughs> social hierarchy. Like, yeah. if they were above you in the social hierarchy, they'd say some gay shit yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, and like, bro. even if you fend it, it's kind of like they're they're able yeah. to like, yeah. They got like, all the words for what you. What you gonna right? do, bro? F- you and the us, man. Yeah. What you like, gonna hey, do? Bro. Bro. Yeah, take a fucking dick. Get that dildo on your butt. You can suck my dick later on the fucking break, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. You literally be saying that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. yo, stop like, too low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. aggressive. It's aggressive, bro. It's like you really want this to happen. I just wanted to get a little bit of extra time on my break. Yeah, jabroni yeah. up your butt. But yo, you want a jabroni? Jabroni is You want a jabroni up your bum hole? Hey, butt. Hey, butt. Hey, Frankie. Hey. Frankie. Hey, get him a jabroni. Billy over here hey, wants a jabroni. Get him a butt. jabroni. I know. They'll hit you up like, you haven't had the Polish sausage before? And you're like, <laughs> oh, my God. Are, you, like, hey, are hey, you talking hey. about Daniel? Oh, oh, the fuck? Oh, you know no. what I'm saying? You'll be like, but, Gino, Gino, Gino. Just chill. 
Just but yo, today. this is what I was going to ask because with Diddy, I feel like, do you feel like he's doing this to these rappers on some power shit where it's like a domination okay. thing? Or do you think he's actually, mm, yes, yes. you know what I'm and saying? this is what I was thinking. I was like, this is when he got Meek. When Meek was going on a rampage about Rick Ross, he's like, ha, ha, ha. Because Rock, Ross was like, I, don't, I can't do this. So I'm going to give you the little, the little kid over here. Yeah. Boss. When so Ross when they was went gone. Through, yes, when they went through the shit, I noticed he was hanging with Diddy, but Diddy and Ross were mother cool as shit. Yeah. But he's like, ha, this is how you're going to get in, in the game game. And then it's like, boom. Should never leave Diddy, never leave somebody with Diddy un unattended. supervised, un unattended. Like you need to have an extra person in the room who will be like, nah, fam, come, 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 come. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> no, I think he's, he's about to do something crazy. Diddy let's was, go, let's go. Diddy's such a good mastermind that he'd be like, get that one out here first. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would have the dollar bill. He's you your hater chasing, friend. <laughs> you start chasing the dollar bill and it's Diddy with the little string behind it going like, <laughs> get him over here, over here. You got, got you, little bitch. Nigga. We, go, we go drunk hug him. Yeah, because yeah. I know this sounds weird, but I feel like those guys like younger, they go for like younger oh, dudes. Oh, 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 no, you know no, what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. More naive. No, 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 no. He got turned out by an older dude. Diddy. Diddy got turned out by an older dude when he was younger, though. Quincy Jones. Whoa. Heavy D, Heavy D, Heavy D always knew. And that's why Heavy D had a, 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 a just an, a, a, like an out of the nowhere heart attack and died. This, Heavy D always had him, but I heard certain things about him. I got nothing for love for you, baby. All right, Quincy Jones. Damn, like all these niggas. Deep. It's deeper than, it's deeper than rap. And, and the, it's all started from African Bombada. Holy. Oh. <laughs> This is all started from Africa, Bombada. If you little youngins know who I'm fucking talking about, we'll do your research. Y'all niggas want to pick up rap? You gotta be a gay lord now to be a rapper, if that's the case. How about that? Mm. Say those are the rules. That's kind of messed. Yeah, because those are probably the rules for real. That's why a lot of niggas don't make it. Can't let certain people yeah, inside the one. secret. Oh, it's, 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 it's a secret society. Oh, they know you trust. ain't gonna take. Uh, yeah, they know you ain't gonna take the little throw up your bum. They know it. So they're like, they can't let this nigga in. We can't, we can't, we can't trust him. We can't trust him. He's going to tell everybody we he won't do even let me. He won't even let me f him in we the have, ass. We have freakos over here. <laughs> we have freakos over hold here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Order in the order. I know, I know. Before someone takes this and starts to spin yeah, it. Do not clip that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Clip. They can't clip that. No, but they, they're they're stay on that clip for sure. Because that wasn't a, like, you know, there's always been little things in hip hop that's been wild, but like the whole um ritual stuff and all that, it was never a hip hop thing. It was just always a Hollywood thing. Yeah. But do y'all think that because hip hop has become so commercialized over the years yeah. that now all of those Hollywood rituals are embedded into the oh, hip? Because to be a hip hop star doesn't mean now you're just like a hundred thousand near, or, you know, you're up a couple mm -hmm. million. You can become a billionaire yeah. as a hip hop star. We've already seen the proof. Kanye West, Jay Z, all these guys are becoming billionaires from hip hop culture. So now the entry point has moved from, oh, you just got to be good at music to, what you willing to do to really get this money? You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you guys. Like, no, no, you're not. You're actually agreeing. Happening, but it wasn't like that before. But now, uh, no. Hold up. How do you know? <laughs> how do you know? Well, how do you know what Russell Simmons was doing? Russell Simmons probably yeah. ordering up 10, 20 boys at the same time. I don't think NWA. I mean, Dr. Dre though. Dr. He used to Dre. Be, he's a little bit. Of, they say he's a little bit of a motherfucker too. He's yeah. always had his. Tupac thing even said him. that, right? All right. Tupac went crazy on him for that, and, and he was probably there. And then Pac had his little little picture. And he down, was there. Too, you know what he I'm was saying? there. Man laying in a bathtub full of gold, butt naked. Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> that was for the video for Salt and Pepper. That was for the video for Salt and Pepper. Yeah, but some somebody had to film it. He's a better been a woman photographer. I know. You're gonna stand over the bathtub with a nigga naked in the tub? Pause, bro. Hey yo. Okay. But well, you gotta know your sexuality though. <laughs> you gotta be comfortable was, with your sexuality. He was super comfortable that day, that day on that photo shoot. So they had him on a Molly. <laughs> but I think a lot of those a lot of these guys, like they get into the industry with just hopes to be a rapper, but then they realize, damn, like everyone's doing like you know, like did yeah. I have to do this? And then it's either like you either get like you're gonna get pause, blackballed. I don't wanna fucking that sounds weird to say, but mm. like either like you're not gonna make it or it's like I guess I gotta give up my booty hole. Yeah, which is <laughs> Because I feel like spiritually, I feel like that that messes you up in a way. Mentally. Yeah. You're that sitting on millions of up. dollars in a mansion. So You're rich, but your bum is burning you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Utopia. An imagined place or state of things in which everything is perfect. But here in our utopia, nothing is beyond your imagination. 
We offer an enhanced recording experience located in the Eastern Toronto. With professional quality recording, mixing, and mastering, we believe that every artist deserves an experience nothing short of utopia. To experience your own state of utopia, visit utopiarecords.ca to lock in your time today. I want to move on to another story, but it's still Diddy related. So we're we're, gonna, yeah. we're still in we're Free still in the now. weeds, guy. We're still we're still in <laughs> get the machetes out to get out of this weeds, man. <laughs> but apparently, that Shine shooting, remember Shine? Yeah. was arrested for and for shooting <laughs> off a cl- in the club. Okay, let off a few shots in the club. A woman got hit in the face. The man did ten years and deported to Belize. Yeah. and now the woman in 2024 is saying. Did he shot me? Yeah. Oh. It was true. Everybody knew that. We said, is it true? Of course like, it was true. So this is what she has to say. Where's the audio on this? How you doing? So, hmm. Here today about this latest lawsuit with the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call him. Diddy. Diddy? Lawsuit that has come out involving the producer Little Rod. So basically his last two lawsuits or last two major lawsuits um the one with cassie she made mention that puffy made her carry his guns into <laughs> nightclubs and wherever they went we love hip hop hip hop to make her feel like she had to do so and of while there were lots of things of importance that stood out to me and i'm going to tell you why in this tell lawsuit us. with the producer little rod they were both essayed by him and threatened and physically harmed. But in this lawsuit, he appears to be a very young producer to me. But he said something very specific. As a means of threatening him, Puffy said, that's why I shot up the club in New York back in 1999 and let Shine take the fall for it. Let Shine take the fall for it. Let me recording. tell you why that's of utmost importance. Gotta have a recording of that. Can't because I it. am the woman who he shot in the face yeah, like, mm-hmm. in that 1999, December 27th, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got shot in my face with a nine millimeter excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point bullet called a cop killer. A cop killer she got hit with. I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow powed in the face. I watched him fire the gun. Mm. I've said it all this time. I believe her. Even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me under, I was screaming, Puffy, pew, pew, me in the face. He testified in the criminal trial. It is in the record. I don't know what these niggas did in the 90s, but everything coming back to these motherfuckers. When Yo, he getting but, it, he getting it. Question. Mother, oh my God. If she's saying that, that even the surgeon testified, like, shouldn't this have been dealt with? He w- Listen, in that case, right, if we can go back in, in history, Shine had one set of lawyers. Diddy had a different set of lawyers. Yeah, right? He, yeah, he had Cochran. Holy. Right? And friggin' somebody. Yeah, so oh, okay. Right? Is, we we can we can fact check, like but I do remember him having some is that like yeah, the big lawyer? legal representation. Yeah. Yeah. He won his case, Shine didn't. Yeah. Okay? And the and the and the whole case was it was Shine that did it. So even if there was testimony in the courtroom, maybe his lawyer refuted that and was like, nah, he, who cares what she was saying? Maybe she was under anesthetics <laughs> or whatever. That's true. That's that's high talk. It was Shine. And Shine hated Diddy for this. Remember, he was going off. He said, and I remember this clearly like it was yesterday, reading the Source magazine when they finally got um, word from Shine. 
And he said, Diddy, uh, Diddy will die a thousand deaths. This is what the man said. This is not from the internet. I remember reading this in the magazine like, yo, that man Diddy will die a thousand deaths for this. He yeah. Was mad at the time, bro. Yeah. So everything points to him when in like, the court. <laughs> bro. He did like, not want to go do that time, bro. It's just like, it's just like what, what, what it is, though, when it comes to this, uh, what we were talking about a couple episodes ago when it comes to the court system. Mm. The lawyer knowing the flipping crown. Yeah, mm-hmm. going to lunch with them and saying, "All right," or they're at the volleyball practice with their their other child. You know what I mean? And they're mm-hmm. like, "Yo, can't make Diddy lose." You know, move some pieces around. Man. Move some, move some, some pieces. Around. I I think we're witnessing, and I don't know if this is in correlation with us going into like the age of Aquarius and information. No, no, no. You're on. But you're on it. We're 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 seeing like kind of the destruction of. Bullshit. This system, you yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. The, this entertainment, yep. kind of like facade that all of us have been consumers of i feel like it's falling apart yeah it started a while ago but even with the cat williams stuff you're seeing all this stuff with diddy's like people we realize like we don't want to give these people our money what no. are you gonna do with that money Can go like find the kid to be given like, this you know person your money like, before yeah. yeah i can't believe i've given you my money yeah r kelly's already out of here um harvey weinstein in the, in the white people side of things or in the, mm. in the he's out of here like yeah. social media's helped exponentially Oh yeah, right. Because a lot of these people, they, we're not talking about people who are doing things in the from the two thousands when social media is alive, when there's cameras everywhere. 90s. We're talking about people from the nineties, from the eighties, who've been doing some mucky things when there wasn't as much surveillance and much information available. And now the information time is killing them, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The truth will but, always but reveal itself. Yeah, is, yeah, and that's but the big guys, the person who's really taking the fall is Diddy for like. Uh, Quincy Jones and all of them. I'm keep telling you guys this. It's going to get deeper. You need to sacrifice. They have to. Because he came up under all of these big execs. And wherever he learned this shit from, he learned it from them. I believe that. Mm -hmm. Because look at all those guys. They've all had their share of things. Quincy Jones went on a rant a few years ago to the point where his kids had to tell him, shut the fuck up. You can't talk no more, bro. Like, Mm -hmm. stop doing interviews. Because he's like, this guy um, was a homo. This guy, this guy, this guy. You know what I'm saying? This guy was effing this guy. And they were yeah. like, yo, turn the mic off. Quincy, mm. chill. Yeah, yeah. You know Even R- Richard Pryor. like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. went off that time. Yeah, yeah. And then Andre Harrell has already caught his 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 share of issues. Not mm-hmm. Andre Harrell. Um, R.I.P. Andre Harrell. Um, who's the guy who? Um, L.A. 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 Reed. L.A. Reed. L.A. Reed caught a bunch of stuff back in 2018, 2017. They yep. were on his head. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Russell Simmons. Yep. Everybody's getting it, bros. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. But it's anybody from, can get it. It's from back then, but because of like, remember uh, what's his name now? Uh, Epstein. Epstein. So now, no, no, this is what it is. Ooh. When it came down to the Epstein situation, they needed somewhere to have a fall. You gotta remember, this goes even back to political shit too. Diddy was on the Biden train. Okay. Or die. Probably donates to the Democratic Party. All types of shit going on, dog. So people are like, and then remember, Diddy went and opened his mouth with the, the company with the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah, they yeah. did that, it was an open book for him. Because then they're like, okay, buddy, we have all these things on you. And then somebody will pay somebody else to not go down. Yes. So when I heard from certain top elites that you got to look at Quincy Jones. Before you even look at Diddy, mm. they're gonna why? Diddy gonna have to talk soon. Just that Diddy hasn't been retained yet. Where like he's taken out of his home. Yeah, yeah. Once he gets taken out of his home, that's no. Pandora he hasn't been arrested. Box, yes, he hasn't been arrested yet. But once that man gets arrested, if he gets arrested or any other sort, the Pandora box will open. They're gonna be like, okay, buddy, what's going on for real? What? Wh- how can we reform you? And mm. there is no reforming this. With that being said, though, I predict. We'll see Diddy in handcuffs like within really? the next two, three months. Yes. Think so? And then this yeah. is when Quincy the yeah. Quincy Jones stories start coming out. The uh the head guys, the guys who are above him, he has to bring them down. There's too much stuff coming at him, man. Like every week there's something new to report on. I think he's gonna beat these allegations. No, it's who, no, no, no. Some of them he will, he will. beat. Yeah. But, but there will be one where they're gonna take him away in handcuffs. He might even beat that one too. But the sight of it, of seeing Diddy taken out of a studio or out of his home. In handcuffs is going to be a wild situation, like, fam. I, 
it sucks because like if you're on where I'm, I'm a media guy, right? Mm-hmm. But when that happens, fam, we're all posting it, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially if there's a video. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, CNN, Damn, everyone, yeah. and him with his him with that look, that just that did he look like? And that could be for the lightest case, the one that he could beat with in two seconds. Yeah, but, but the fact that he brought him out in cuffs, holy! So I, I, I'm not, I'm not going down some weird rabbit hole, am I? No, 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 no. I'm right off fucking point. No, but that right there, that opened the floodgates for everything else too. Like, oh, we had him in cuffs too. Let's give him ten more times. You see the amount of lawsuits he's getting now? Exactly. Look at ten but times. This, more. But this is it. It's not like yo, when they put him in the cuffs, he's like, oh, he'll be out in 24 hours. This is where they're gonna be like, you want to know more? Mm. Want to know really what's going on? Why? Why is Kim dead? Why does your two twin daughters not want to live with you right now and moved out of your home? They as open of last up the KPD week? case. I have that. a question. I feel like the people who will be trying to like pursue justice in the situation, I feel like they're in on it too. You don't think the CIA or FBI, or whoever's going to be investigating Diddy, are they? Maybe they'll try to protect Diddy because they're part of the same establishment. Whatever you know what I'm saying? It is. However, it is for it to get that far, they lost somewhere. Hmm. If they, if whoever's involved, if you're from the CIA, the whole point of the CIA being around you is so you never get involved in a case like this, yeah, or the FBI, or anything, or anything right? So they're not so even so, protecting him like no, that. No, no, no. Yeah. It could be you had a couple guys around you, but they seen the free going down and was like, "Holy shit, this guy's really having freakos. He's or gonna catch us up." Everybody can have them, but like you know what? We're we're moving you off. We're putting somebody else in there, mm-hmm. and now we got now you got to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like, I don't know, because when we're talking about all this stuff, the only thing that starts that goes through my brain is like episodes of Ozark and stuff. Mm. Because there's so many different levels to way the way money goes. Yeah. That like, yeah, from when you start touching like over the hundred mils, yeah, that's you have to get in bed with the politics. Mm. You could be a ten thousand you could be a ten millionaire or whatever. Have they a, don't even give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? I have like twelve million in my bank and we're all good. Care. That's mm. great. I got Ferraris and all that. They but like they don't care about you. But once you start putting a hundred million in your bank, now you start talking, I'm a billionaire. People are knocking on your door. You're having different conversations. Mm-hmm. And those conversations get political. Yeah. It, it, they all do. No matter how much you, we can try to deny it, once you get into a certain tax bracket, you bump into see, to people in places that are political. Mm-hmm. It has to happen. Mm-hmm. When you go to places, other countries, you get to talk to the heads of the countries. Yeah. You're you know donating money. You're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut yeah. The tax right yeah. off. Yeah. All types of shit. You're it's just it. inevitable. Like you know what I'm saying. So like you can turn left instead of right, and now you're in bed with some czar that's making you filter their money through some shit. And like you know what I'm saying. You you know or you're literally in bed yeah. with or czar. literally no, in bed. <laughs> Prize who's not even like on the radar like that is literally going to jail for like trying to. You know, trying to deal with some Chinese guy who was filtering money and trying to get next to all. Fam, it gets sticky once you start ta- talking about certain tax brackets, bro. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Diddy could be literally a pawn in a huge game. That's what I said. He is. He's <laughs> actually the one taking the fall for the higher ups. Yeah. Who were running with Epstein. Mm. Who were running. You notice his name wasn't on that list, but he been there. And he the, have his own island. Right? And not to interrupt you, it doesn't mean that he's not guilty. It just means that, like, yeah, you're guilty, but now we everybody needs to know that you're guilty. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of other guilty niggas, but yeah. we'll protect them for now as long as they playing ball or as long as we can use them. But hey, and if you give them up, uh, no one will believe you. Yeah. But once we can't use you no more, you will throw you into the into the fire. So bro. wait, do you think him speaking on you said the the alcohol thing, like do you think that was him stepping out of line where they're like, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, expose already, you now. We're no, done with you. We're done with you, Diddy. Yeah. But they already had it coming. He already had it coming. I think it was something else. Because the alcohol is just too surface. We can see it. We, we can see There's it. something that we can't see that he did. Thank you. That it was like, ooh, you shouldn't have done that. I think it's the Quincy thing. Because remember, Quin- Quincy, Jones and, uh, Quincy Jones and Tupac, that was supposed to be uh, Tupac's father-in-law. Yeah. Now, Keefe D and them niggas was all in cahoots. Now, Diddy used to be around Quincy a lot. That's his mentor. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm. Him and Heavy D and all those guys. There's a lot going on we don't know that was going on from the early 90s. Some of y'all niggas weren't even born yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there, it's, some, it's some soul searching and some digging these guys are doing on this guy to a level of like, they, they ain't but, no coming back. But I, it's unfortunate they put Meek Mill in it, who's a new guy. But let me ask y'all a quick fact and we'll get off of this. 
with the woman herself claiming the shooting. Do we believe her? I believe her 1,000%. Did he been shooting people? Did he's a... Uh, he did, she, she shot somebody in this recent lawsuit too. Fam, his son and him shot somebody else. There's a, in the bathroom. Lawsuit. In yeah, the bathroom. They shot, they, they were like, yo, he's probably like, give me that gun. Bow! And then he told them to say that the person got shot outside of the outside. drive-by. Yeah. Yeah. These niggas is bad. These guys are on demon time. <laughs> the star is like, whoa. Yo, this did, is he, too did, much. He, did he a gay bad man? If you want to say it, he's one of those bad man, bad man, bad man. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like He's a homo thug. That's he's a, a homo it's thug. A, it's, a, it's a term. Yeah. Mm. He'll homo shoot, thug. He'll, he'll shoot you and rub some ass after. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's crazy. <laughs> those are the ones you I be believe scared the allegation. of. You, you believe the allegations? I allegation? believe the allegations. So and believe. I think all of this, like, Hollywood kind of, like, Babylon, like, <laughs> kind of, it's it's falling apart. And I'm glad that we're seeing it. I just don't know how it's going to phase out. Is it going to be replaced by social media, which is, like, low-key controlled by, like, China and Elon Musk, which is like another, like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Oh, I have no man. clue. And a lineup will not fix this anxiety. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Back to the <laughs> Shout out to Bert, my barber, but this is like, this is beyond, Question you know, so you're paying. Question. Question. Do you really think he can bounce back from this? No, no, no. It's no. over. Fame. Reputation done, he's but done. I still think he's going to get radio play. Like, Every step, you know how we. No, we can't that? let go of the slaps, bro. I'm sorry, I was. We, I'm we gonna separate. Can't let go, I'm gonna the separate the artist stations? from the from the art. Mm -hmm. For so. for me, I'm not letting go of the ones that he produced. At least I could I can do away with the ones that he's rapping on, but yeah, the ones that he produced, like yeah. all those Biggie tracks and all that. Yeah. Like, nah, 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 nah. I'm what you know about? Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. all about the Benjamins, bangers, I'm though. holding on to that. Sorry, gang. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, people who might get offended, I'm I'm not letting go. go no, 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 no. None of those slaps. No, no. Because Elton John is. I need a girl. Elton. I need a girl. But Elton John, at least, like, he was, like, that was his thing. It was, like, yeah. he was. But he was he into was little boys. About it. He was into little boys. For real? I heard his husband's from Toronto. Yeah, and he was a little boy. When hold he, on, he hold on. They allegedly, we don't want to get a, get those lawsuits on right at time. <laughs> we don't want to get, what's her name, Tasha Kade out here, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Okay, let's get off of Diddy, man. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's dangerous territory over here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, hey, pause. Diddy ain't we doing was nothing. never pause. on Diddy. Pause. <laughs> Diddy ain't doing nothing. Okay. Um, Kelsey Nicole. Yeah. So for the people who don't know who Kelsey Nicole is, she is the third person that was in the incident with Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Oh, mm. she did an interview. Yeah, she yeah. did an interview on the dancing project. I'm trying to get at these guys in the DMs to see if um they can send me an unlisted. <laughs> oh, I saw something in my DMs just now. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. Um, yeah, I try to contact them because I, I jumped in their comments when I seen a post about uh one second. The the um, the interview. But the thing is the interview's dropping is it tomorrow and we're filming right now, so we can't give any commentary on the interview itself. So I'll play you the, the trailer. Crazy, you the type, dude. Jeez, they're sliding. So now, while we're, you know, while people are seeing this, the interview will be out, okay? So it's going to be hard to give, like, our take on... Next week. Yeah, we're going to have to wait till next week to give a, a real take on what's happening. Mm -hmm. But, like, Tori tried to speak on his own. Remember, he did his lives and stuff like that. Yeah, Meg yeah. went to Gail King and spoke. But we never... Heard from Kelsey. And she's the one who's really there. there. And I didn't get a chance to talk to you guys also about the whole Drake saying three me, right? Mm. Oh, I saw you did a you Yeah, did a it was, I was that. reacting yeah. about that on a YouTube live. However, I think this all kind of correlates because WAC 100 said there's a video. There's big time. I'm not even going to say big time. The biggest rapper in the world is saying um, three him. He's not even worrying about any of his corporate entities or anything like that. Like, can we, is it safe to say that Tory Lanez is innocent? I've been saying it. I mean, we've been saying it, but like a lot of it, people might misconstrue it with like, oh, well, you guys are just supporting him because he's the home team. No, but fam, no. the, the fact, no. it's kind of showing. Of, a lot of people thought we were. Chauvinistic pigs or whatever you want to call yeah, them. Yeah, all that. Uh, they thought we were fucked. Oh, you guys hate women. Uh, protect women. But like, it's literally in our face. Pause. 
Like, yo. unless she says something different in the interview. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. We got to yeah, watch we, we our mouths right We got to wait. We got to wait. wait. Bro, you know, they she's probably, probably saying, no, he pulled out a little green gun. And <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Yeah, we you might have to saying? leave that for bro, another day. Chill, bro. Okay. You know? <laughs> Salute to the, I tried, fam. I tried to hit them in the DMs. Like, yo, is there any way I can get the unlisted? Da, 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 da. Like, don't care about that check mark, nigga. <laughs> they never, they didn't even see it. I didn't even like, get a we scene. We don't care about that check mark, nigga. You ain't getting this one. This one, hot. Well, we'll we'll leave that story. Um, I got something here via Keep Six Solid. Big salute to Steaming Hot Grabba with a variety of different Grabba flavors and dispensers. They got Red Rose Grabba, that Red Herring Grabba, and Peanut Butter. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Steaming Hot Grabba, and use the code We Love Hip Hop and receive a discount on your order. Again, you can find them on Instagram, Steaming Hot Grabba. Now let's get back to the show. Gia. Okay, it's big salute to Keep Six Solid. That's my brother right there. Um, he made a post on Twitter, and it was. Something that we've been bringing up into this. I brought it up with a lot of guests about this, the scene. and Because remember, we just did a whole, we're pretty much near the end, right? And we didn't talk about one thing happening in the Toronto rap scene. Yes. <laughs> For lack of, a better, lack of a better term. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I love the Toronto Who rap. cares? Right now, it just seems like nobody really cares, right? So he says this. To all artists, if your music isn't hitting with specific demographics, you should tap into new markets, find artists outside your region, and collaborate. You'll 100% gain new fans if you're dope. Toronto fans care about the artist story more than the music. Mm -hmm. it, just needs the, they, it just needs the reality of our scene. Or, sorry, it's just the reality of our scene. And you don't need to spend all your money on promo on Toronto pages with the same following. Seek out different platforms from all over the world. You'll never, you'll never know where your music will hit. It's rarely home first. I love that. Exactly. That's that is to keep six solid. Yeah. Because you know what? Like he is a Toronto platform, so he could easily be like, no, you have to go through us. But he's like actually giving game mm -hmm. because I think he realizes that a lot of these people who maybe he even he's promoting are not going to pop off in Toronto yeah. because of Toronto. whatever their context is because of Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, and man, even Canada is a small market compared to other countries. We only have 30 Five million people here in the whole country. In the whole country, and yeah. only at like a hundred thousand are black. Yeah, I yeah. don't know about the black numbers in Canada. Um, <laughs> there's about four in this room right now. <laughs> uh, three actually, uh, but uh, yeah. So I I agree with what he's saying, and I I definitely think that you're more likely to pop off somewhere else than you are at home. Actually, you might probably get popped at home more likely. Like you might die where you're from more mm. likely. We've seen it with Nipsey Hussle and a lot, a lot of these people are getting killed where they're from, yeah. even though that's where they were established at first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I agree with what he's saying. And I think also like you do need to get some home love, but not to the point where like, oh, I'm blew up from, from Toronto. I feel like when you do blow up from Toronto is because you got the love of down South and other countries, right? That yeah. completes the mission. You know what I'm saying? You started bubbling here in Toronto and then you went down south, connected with all the people that you needed to connect to. Now you're getting played on all their stations, popping up on all of their freaking blogs and podcasts. And when you come back home, they start treating you different like you're a superstar, the way they weren't treating you before where you were bubbling. You know what I'm saying? And now you're the star. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? If, if, but your main bread and butter is not coming from here. It's, it's never yeah. going to. Like, uh, yo, go ahead. Be My bad. If you if you get big somewhere else in the world, it's almost like Toronto wins too. Because mm. now, like, look at Drake. We Drake's from Toronto. So yeah. Now we can claim Drake and be like, Toronto is is known for you know producing said quality of yeah. artists. You know? Look who we, we look who we put out. We put out the biggest artists in the world. Yeah. yeah. So. You know who's a good example? And I don't know if you knew this, but Sean Mendez is from Pickering. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I have a friend that went to high school with him. He like no one he, like he's not a Toronto or GTA artist. He's an international artist who's from Pickering. Mm. He never like I don't think he ever really tried to like be a Toronto artist. I feel like the moment you're in that Toronto artist bubble like, what's the most that can happen, bro? You yeah. get, like, free teeth teeth whitening. You know what I'm saying? You might get a free lung detox. I don't know what's going to happen. But, yeah. like, what's the most that could happen if you're a Toronto artist? But if you're an international artist from Toronto, okay, now you're putting on for the city. Mm -hmm. Now, like, you're actually making money in other places. You're traveling. But, like, I feel like the ceiling it, as a Toronto artist is is not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you think, Dusty? 
I'm just don't give a shit no more. Like not in a negative way. I'm just more like everybody's stupid. I think everybody's gassed by just what they see instead of like accomplishing their own way of getting themselves to be famous. Mm. Like I never gave, I didn't have to give a shit about Drake because of the fact that Drake was coming up the same time when I was coming up. So my objective, that wasn't my goal. My goal was to be in front of like Lil Wayne or like, you know what I mean? Birdman or somebody of the sort because they're making the elite to me mm. and they're not from where I'm from. They're mm. from somewhere else. So I'm trying to get over there with them so that I could be a, a, a worldwide artist, yeah. per se a Toronto artist. See, if you consider yourself a Toronto artist, then you're just always going to be a Toronto artist. Yeah. Mm. Now, now there's guys like, uh, what's his name? Um, the black cute there and he sings R&B. God damn it. How Daniel, was, Daniel, Daniel Caesar. Caesar. How, you, you read my mail again. Now, <laughs> now look at Daniel Caesar. He's from here, right? It's just what you're meant, like Mendez. It's like from Pickering. Mm -hmm. But then what happened? He blew up to the point where we're just like, you got to ask, where is he from? Yeah, 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 Let's yeah. be real. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'll give Roy Woods even a little bit of a blot. Mm -hmm. If you don't know Roy Woods is from Brampton, yeah, yeah. right? You're going to be like listening to that, his new song that he has out, Four in the Morning, like that new one. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be like, where's this guy from? Mm. because it, there's no stamp on him as a Toronto artist. Yeah. It's almost it's almost a stigma. And it is. Yeah. And but then at that point, isn't it up to the artist to, to put the city on? Yeah, like, I got say, on like I'm on a Cash Money mixtape. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, so I, like, when, when I was on that mixtape myself, a lot of people were like, where are you from? And when I say Toronto, like, I didn't think you were a Toronto artist. That is the that is the part that always stuck out to me by oh shit, I, it's not actually a good thing to be considered a Toronto artist. Mm -hmm. It's actually to be a, a good thing to be considered a universal artist. Yeah. How did you get on that Cash Money fucking mixtape, Dusty Wallace? Because I've worked my ass off and I didn't just stay in the pocket of Toronto to be on a rap, a a, a, a what what was it called them time rap sheet DVD. Mm. I didn't want to be on that. I wanted to be on the Cash Money mixtape. So while these niggas is over here doing rap sheet DVD, I was like, yo, it's over here, cuz. Let's yeah, see if we yeah. can get a bag for real. And we did. And then instead of me being on the, 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 the regular Toronto scene, I said, let me take my music and go put it in some movies over here that all you Toronto niggas is watching. So then you hear my big mouth on one of them motherfuckers. So, so that's the outlandish part. What I have to think of when I see artists coming from here, what outlandish shit are you doing for me to notice you? So a lot of things like the backstory and this and that is all hot squash to me. I don't give a shit about that. That's why a lot of times the, our scene pops for eight months and then it just fizzles out like a little like soda pop because mm. nobody doing nothing different. So once we start, you got you see, once you start having characters like it was a fucking super like a DC comic mm. really going on in here in this city, that's when everything opens up like a big wide. It's and like, all of us can fuck it. Yeah, I'm just telling, I'm getting y'all some game. You know what I mean? That that's just my that those are my choice of words. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's all I really got to reference. Yeah, listen, man. Uh, our blogs makes me mad. Are are cool over here, and that's a cool thing to have a bunch of different blogs out here, you know, posting about the rap scene. Mm. But it's not the whole scene. Mm. If you're one of those rappers that are all really popular on the blogs, it doesn't necessarily equate to you getting a million dollars or even a million views on your youtube because when i go turn around and look at half of these guys who you know they're talking about said this about say it was about so and so in their stories and stuff like that you go check out their youtube views it's like ten thousand, five thousand. you know what i'm saying Bro, yeah not like, you're not rubbing two it nickels is. together yeah they're you're not even rubbing two nickels you're not making money off of those doing. kind of streams bro it's it's almost become like a circus. Like it's yeah. almost like WWE. We have these exaggerated characters who we like to tune in. And let's be honest, it's it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You go on like a, a Twitter space and then you see Haji Bastard really. or YG. Like, Not really. Because they all have the same face mask on, the same flipping jacket on, the same pants on, the same flipping everything. It's true, but it's it, whack. It's entertaining to a lot of to people. Who? 
He's entertained. I'm entertained, but I'm also like a white. Yeah. I can't fool my black ass. Yeah, I do your Can't fool my black ass. Cause nah, 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 boo, boo. Can't fool me. Because you're experiencing, I'm experiencing that. Like I know where you got it from. Outside looking in, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and. There are a lot of people like me, you know what I'm saying, who will be entertained by that. But I think the key is almost like you have to hide the fact that you're from Toronto if you're a Toronto artist. You got to let that be known once you make it. Don't, ah. don't, don't come out the gate like, yo, I'm a Toronto artist from this specific street. You no, know what like, I'm saying? We're like, yo, where's he from, B? Yeah, yeah. You won't even make it out because, like, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, better yeah. be waiting at your front, at your front steps of your projects. Like, you think you was going somewhere? Like, the yeah. Proof is, like, the proof is somebody like Toby. Yep. Right? When I go, and I always bring his name up, but there's reasons because I went and checked out his new music video on YouTube the other day, the black and white video, right? And the view count on it in one month was 1.1 million. And he is never posted on any of the, <laughs> the, the blogs. He's not a note. He probably Look, don't even one, want them. one month, 1 million views. He don't even want y'all posting him. Okay? That's breaking the needle. Wait, wait, how many subscribers does he have? He has two uh, 24.6 thousand subscribers. Okay. He has a million views. Likes. We're not going to act like the label's not helping with some of, of the. Of course it is. The, the I don't promo. Know. It could be bought. It could be bought. No, but bought is one thing. Like you can buy views and they're fake views, but you also can do Google Play. Uh, Google. Not Google. Google ads, ads right? Ads, yeah. And there you People go. still have to watch the video for it to count as a view or watch enough of the video for it to count as a view. No, trust me, European guys, the European boys are liking Toby. Right? Like the, the European scene loves him. And let's say even half of that is promo views. That's still 500,000 plus views. But yo, yo, I'm not, I'm not trying to hate on what Toby's doing, but 792 likes for a million views is crazy. Like, there's no way if you actually got a million organic views, you're going to get, you know what I'm saying, Nacho, bro? <laughs> Come on, I'm not, not going to, let's not pretend like, like that's normal. Seven, less than a thousand, like you have a million views. I didn't see that right there. No, we bro, that is, <laughs> that, that is that. a red flag, bro. I'm sorry, Toby. You know, shout out to you. Keep doing Put your a flag thing, on the play. But I'm going to call a spade Yo, move a spade, the goal post, Friday. Move the goal post a little bit for our nigga, Toby. Come on now. I, can't, man, I, I guarantee your Biz Loke video has more likes than that. Oh, bro. for sure. But that's because that's the street. Let's go over there. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to check. I'm yeah, not going to check. Don't check. Don't check. Because I might be wrong. <laughs> right, told me, bro. Okay. Bad, but bad, yo, bad point. I, no, no. I know what you mean, though. Like, yo, he probably has most of his listeners not from here. No, but I see yeah. him post on Instagram in front of a bunch of people, fam. All the time. He's always performing in front of sold out shows. Like, I'm not talking about venues that have 50,000 people. No. Nah, like but a like small... a venue that has like 800 people. Sold out. Yeah. Thousand people sold out. Like, That's how you the man has fans, bro. Real mm. fans. Yeah. Without having to be posted on the blogs on a regular basis. So, this is what it is. Mm. I do care. Why do we give a f though about his numbers? Why? I only care if they're fake. Because if you're, then, then it's deception, bro. If you're actually buying views to make it seem like you have a million views, but you don't, then you're mm. lying to the audience. Okay. If you're a real guy, you'd be like, yo, I but only got 10,000 views. Most rappers are I'm lying saying? to their audience. And I don't respect that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't respect fake numbers. So I'd rather to see so, the real numbers so, be low. So are we okay with just saying, just, just, just throw out rap music? Let's just throw it in the garbage? I mean, I make EDM It's on the way now. out. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I feel you. I feel you. I'm going to be real. Like, I'll only listen to like older rap now because that's what I like. One, yeah, I like now, old school. But now, most of the guys who are the older guys are the ones being brought up now. No, so, at least they had album numbers that were like they, we're they, tangible. We're tangible. They were tangible. Yeah, like, those old, no, 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 no. There were tricks too back in the day. We used to, they used to buy Rockefeller used to buy the albums. Yeah, 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 yeah. And buy the hard copies. Not just Rockefeller, like. Every major labels well, I, used to buy a few thousand copies. Going but. back to your point, like, why do we care about the numbers? As if the song is good, I don't care how much you sold. I don't care like what the numbers are because the song <laughs> is good. It's good music. That's mm. what I'm looking for. I'm not like, oh, I'm only listening to this because it has 10 million views. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. when you try to like buy yourself views to give yourself this false credibility to lie to the audience, say, you know what? This is how many people are rocking with it, but it's not true. I, I cannot rock with that, bro. It's it's lies. It's deception. It's no better than. The industry well, like lying to us. Do you, you know what I'm saying? The model fake it till you make it. Have you ever faked it and thought you made it? I haven't made it yet. Um, so are, but you still, are you faking it? I'm not because I'm the type of person will like where like I will outrightly say like, oh, I'm broke right now. Oh, I'm still trying to come up. Oh, I, like okay, I'm so like let that. Let me show you something you know about. Saying? Let me show you something about about manifestation. Mm. The moment you just said that, the universe just worked against you. Still, 
You will I always don't. be. No, that mm. broke word should not be coming out of your mouth. This is where why a guy like Toby will for now be in that position where he'll keep going up because perception is key. He keeps saying, no, I'm going to be rich off of this. No, I'm going to have a million views off of this. Oh, no, we're going to do what we got to do to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once he, I'm not broke. I'm getting that. No, I so can what happens that, is but... the universe is moving in the way for us to notice him. You're noticing him now. No matter how he says it, I say it, or how you discovered it, you're saying yeah. it. So what is the perception is that for the moment you stop saying broke and you didn't make it, everything will flip around and you'll start to see it. You'll start to have more money in your pocket and you'll fucking make it. So I mean, the perception cool is that. okay. It's yeah. okay to have. The faking it to make it, I get what you're saying. Like, you don't fuck with that. But the part about your mind and ego and switching your mind frame is that's mm. what you have to do to make these things actually become something in your life. I, I do believe in manifestation and like you might have a point, but I do also believe in you got you gotta be truthful. I feel like when you lie to the universe, when you lie to individuals, that's just gonna come bite you in the ass. Most of the time mm -hmm. people are lying to themselves. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think you so, should lie. I feel like if you No, no, if you I get it. I get what you're saying, my brother. I'm 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 being so totally yeah, yeah. honest, but it doesn't work like that. Mm. Energetically, it will never work like that. It always works against you. If you say you're broke, you'll forever be broke. If you say you're not, you didn't make it, you'll never make it. No, but I didn't. I'm not. I never said yeah, I didn't make it. Of, yeah, I didn't yeah. make it yet. I'm broke right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it's you. Don't, you can be delusional and be like, oh, like I'm perfect. You oh, I'm not broke, even though you, you are. To. Oh, you I made to. it, even though I this did is it. Where I'm flipping nah, it. Totally I don't, I don't think so. I don't. I feel like lying to yourself. It's one thing to like, you know, maybe you're not good, but you're like, oh, I'm okay. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. That's like a healthy lie. And maybe okay. these are healthy lies if you're telling yourself, I'm not broke. I'm just uh, rich in a different way. You know what I'm saying? But it's also kind of like delusional to like not acknowledge your situation. Like if, mm -hmm. if you are broke, maybe you shouldn't go around parading it. I, I agree with that. That's the part I'm talking I feel like, you know, you got to keep that shit. It. You don't show it. Don't show it either. You, don't you know say what I'm it. saying? Yeah. But I, I think, like, you also got to be honest with yourself. Like, don't think, you, like, you made it when, like, you haven't made it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Strive, strive to make it, make it. And, like, manifest to make it. Yes. Do the things you need to do to make it. Yes. But understand where you're at. So you your haven't words, made it yet. You so, know but your saying? words are your wand, though. So you got to continue saying, nah, I'm going to make it. I'm making it. I made it. I'm there. Because I, I, you I, have it. I think. I know I, what you mean. The, you guys are both saying the same things in different ways, ways right for example like a lot of these artists they'll act like they're already the shit yes and they're that's not. part of that um conf like overconfidence slash Bovado. delusion yes mm. right ego and that shit and ego and that shit ends up getting a lot of their doors closed Very because so. like bro you ain't that so stop acting like you already made it when you ain't mm. right humble yourself that's a the humble. faking it to make it part. right but, mm. but they're, they're faking it too hard. Yeah. Faking it to making it is cool in a certain way where you're like, okay, yeah, I don't have a million dollars, but I'm not going to come outside looking bummy. bummy. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that my shit is always clean. Present yeah. yourself as uh, present yourself. Uh, right. You know, I'm going to try to make sure that when I walk in rooms, people don't think, oh, this is the guy who has less money than us. Yes. Right? But Even it doesn't though you mean, could. Right? Even though you could be. With less money. You could be, but you're not walking in there like, oh, I'm broke, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to come in. You're not going to show it. You're not going to show it. Exactly. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't hear it come out of my mouth. That's but, the whole part I'm saying. But mm. that's, Words to me, want. not faking it to, to make it. That's just like, I'm always going to present my best self every time Put I come out. Put my best foot Dang. forward. Put Don't be negative. Forward, yeah. Right? right? And, you know, even with the way that we talk about things, like, yes, if you say I'm poor or if you say I'm broke, you're always going to be broke. You're always you know what I'm saying? I don't agree. But we also have to live in reality. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now. If somebody says like if somebody's like if you if you're not a millionaire, you can't front like no, you are. Cuz no but if you front like you are a millionaire yeah. and somebody calls you out, you look crazy. crazy. So like yeah. if you're not a millionaire, don't act like you are. Don't go out. buy shit or go yeah. get the stuff that you rent up. the stuff that millionaires have just so you could look Keep like up. you're a millionaire. Cuz now that's when faking it to make it goes wrong. Yeah, that's so what like, I would never. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what yeah. I would never do. You're you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it to keep up with all these and that's rappers will never. do this shit. Yeah. Rappers are very guilty of this. They're okay? Not realistic. Because it's like I have an image to upkeep. So every time you see me, I got to have three chains on. And every time, you know, you see me, I got to be jumping out of a nice whip. I could never go buy the 
20 year old whip or whatever. Cause if man see me and I'm so and so, that could never happen. Well, you know what? Guess what? Now you're always gonna be broke yeah. because you're spending money that you you're don't trying to have. fake it. Yeah. Exactly. I'll jump out of the 20 year old whip still and be best Wallace and walk with my head up. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because my bills are paid and my fridge is, my fridge is full. And that, to me, is rich. Yeah. But you know the thing I'm is, saying? that's you. Yeah. There's a lot of these guys running around with 100000 on their neck living in, in metro Nothing. housing. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Which, which I they look I great in the video. They got crazy stacks. The, even the real ones, too. You know what I'm saying? They got crazy stacks in the video driving back to their mom's house. Yeah. After the video's done. They're, they're that faking it to make it. It's cool because, like, you can't look like a broke rapper, but then there's also, like, that real but, you, you're a reality. Yeah. But you know why? It's because they're afraid to admit them to themselves. Their actual yeah. situation. Yes. 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 And yes. they'd rather live in a delusion and be like, no, nah, I'm up, I'm up. But it's like, yes. you're not. And if you acknowledge that you're not, now you can make the right steps into, make. oh, I haven't made it yet. Okay, now I know. Because if I think, oh, I made it already, I'm not going to strive to for more. You know sure. what I'm saying? But if I tell myself, I haven't made it yet, now I can actually that take too. the right steps that to too. actually make it where then I can look at myself and be like, oh, you truly made it as opposed to like, I made it in my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's not. And you don't got to yeah. spend the money to keep on faking it. Faking it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You could at least be like, well, like, y'all know I'm not rich. Yeah. Like, yeah. The place that's that what I'm now. Yeah, you're allowed to say, say that. that. Like, I get that I, part. I'm in that place of my part. life now where I'm like, Cause I'm not a rapper no more. I've been podcasting. Like I'm always just giving my honest feelings. Like I'm super transparent with my audience. So yeah, right. like, I'd be like, yo, I'm not a rich nigga. We're not making thousands of dollars every freaking year or every month off of podcasting or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. So now I'm in a position where I can be like, yo, I'm going to there. get the money. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if I hide. was out here, like trying to front in on camera for the oh, last seven years, man, like I had crazy. a million dollars. And, you would look crazy. You know what I'm saying? I would have to keep that up every time people see me in public. And the exactly. money that it costs to do that is taken away from me putting back into the shit. Exactly. And yo, you know I, do, I do agree with Dusty that like your your words are a wand. And even in the Bible, it says like life and death are in, in the tongue, like in what you say. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But let's be real. Like I'm not, you guys are both, you're not wrong. None yeah. You guys are but wrong. I agree with you too that like you got to speak as if you're already, it's, it's there already. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. things into existence, but dog. I'm, I'm going to be real. If you say like, okay, I used to be like super fat and it wasn't until I started calling myself fat that I lost weight, that I actually like took the next step. But like, yeah, I had to acknowledge like, you know, I'm fat. Like even my parents would be like, you're not fat. It's like, yo, I'm 260, <laughs> brother. Like I actually was 260, fam. Like I'm wow. not even joking. And then it was one of my uncles who's like, you have to lose weight. He was the only one brave enough. And that could be like fat shaming. You know what I'm saying? You can consider that. But mm -hmm. it's like, yo. Because I acknowledge that truth, I was able to take the next step. If I was always like, I'm not fat, I'm already jacked. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but it's no, like, no. no, you're fucking obese, <laughs> you're bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're, you're, you're delusional. You're delusional. <laughs> you would have got delusional. bigger. You're delusional. You're delusional. Yeah. Delulu. I kept getting bigger and been like, yeah, a little I'm bit not Delulu fat. There, buddy. The yeah. French fries are making me diesel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Everyone else is just skinny. Like, you yeah. know? Yeah. No, I'm, in a, I'm in a whole different <laughs> spiritual mindset when, I, when it comes to that. Like, I'm not going to be, I would never sit here and be delusional and think, oh, I've made it. You know what I mean? I'm just knowing what I've made it in mm. and where I'm going to make it at. So mm. I'm not going to ever say that I haven't made it. Yeah, you're not going to use like not or negative words. Nah, it's like not. Nah, not nah, to this. block that. Yeah. Right? So but, once the moment I learned some things deeply being 40 years on this earth, dog, I've said, I've said some things and it's not gone the way it's supposed to gone because I've said the thing. Mm. Right? From once you say that B word, R-O-K-E, I guarantee you it's a spell. It's a spell. You put that right on you. You know what I'm saying? I, so, I don't agree with that. I'm just saying you put that right. The word is to say, not at this moment. I do not have at this moment, mm. but I will get. Right? Okay. I, like that. Saying, I like that. I am broke. Broke. Universe will hear that, brother. You guys are energy. We're, 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 we're. But the we're universe human. knows I'm broke. Because you keep saying it, my guy. No, you because keep it, saying it. It knows if you my keep TV saying, account. If you keep saying it, it will still, it will play out to you as that all the effing time. If you say, okay, at this moment right now, I do not have this, but I am going to retain it. Mm -hmm. Bro, you'll see. You snap of your fingers next week. You got it. I like that. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to it's switch magic. my language. It's, it's really I'm, magic. I'm willing magic. to switch my it's language. It's magic. I guarantee you. We're, we're not broke. We're, we're, not, we're, we're the best podcast. And we're going to even be better. Everyone in the world is going to know us more because of the fact that we're not saying no one doesn't know us. We did not. No, no. They already know us, Doc. And more people are going to know us. By the end of this shit, the year, 2024, it's a launch team. Rocket launches. We got to put on a space suit because we're out of here. That type of talk. 
when you talk like that, you guarantee me you in a space suit looking at each other like. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you, I, you're, the, the, the words, you know, being energy and different things, like, I, I believe in it. Like, my friend told me a long time ago, like, I was, you know, was dancing with that word broke and, and poor, right? And I'm like, fam, I'm poor right now. And he's like, he even told me, don't say that you're poor. Maybe say that you're broke, right? And that was like, he was like, because the broke, Temporary condition. It's a temporary of, condition. The yeah. poor is like uh, forever. Yeah, yeah, forever. Right. Stay, stay you gotta lifestyle. stop saying that. Yeah. I, or just say. And then he was like, and then he expanded. And he's like, maybe even say, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm not up right now. Or I don't have it. Yes. Right. I'm going yes. through it right yeah. now. Because yes. when you know, like he was, he was breaking out the whole same energy thing. But like he used it between the poor and broke. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I just mm. used it, but but like, yeah. yeah you know, manifestation, all that stuff. And mm -hmm. even with the Toronto scene and stuff, because we're going. The words, way. no, but the words of the this rap. Is, this is an important no, conversation. it's important because yeah. the words of the raps, the, it's what these kids, it's what everybody is making, the artistry, right? Mm. Really, I'm tired of hearing the mockery. I want to hear something intelligent. So yeah. uh, someone's not going to go and listen to Toby because what Toby is talking is really intelligent more times. Yeah, but so he's, getting more, he's getting more people paying attention to him than the guys who are, Doing all the dumb shit, bro. Thank mm. you. Because of the, the energy and the words that they're kicking. But does he have more people paying attention? Because he only has 792 likes, but a million views. Yes. With that example, bad example with the You music, know what I'm saying? Or not the best example. I won't say a bad example. Mm. But the thing is, this is in combination with that. His live doing performances. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him His that. streams. All these different things. Like, he's doing a lot. He's signed. Yeah, that that's legit. one time. And he's been signed for a be, while. Yeah, yeah. That, yo. That could be a one-time listener. That one million listener. One time, you know. They'll probably never listen to him again. That's what it is, though. But they experienced him once. Mm. Right? Got his message across to them. And they're on to the next shit. That's just mm -hmm. how music is now. It's possible, man. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't accuse him of buying views because I don't know. Oh, I just think the numbers look off yeah. based on what I've seen from social media. Based yeah, on when yeah. I've seen a million views. See how many, like, watch a Nelk Boys video, see how many people like that. It's like 20, 30, 40K. Yeah. Yeah, but you also know what I'm with, um, with Toby as an example, right? And just even, like, with a lot of these artists who get a lot of attention in the blogs. And you know what Keep Six was saying? People are more interested in their story. Yeah. Their views are way less than that. Yeah. Thank you. We're, we're talking about guys, like, who have, you know, okay, Haji Basto is one of the exceptions right now because one of his newest music videos just hit, like, 100 and something thousand views. But with all due respect, in the whole spectrum of the YouTube space, as a rap artist, 100,000 views is not a lot. It's still low. Yeah. Right? But We're talking about guys in Arkansas who are like, who got like 10 million views on their video, and mm -hmm. I don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they got enough where they got 10 million views. They might get a Vlad interview, or they might pop up on No Jumper or something, because in the YouTube space, when people are like looking up their stats, they're like, oh, damn, this video did 2 million. This video did 5 million. Did us, when we're stunting, we're like, yo, man, just hit 100,000. That's not stunting, fam, in yeah. the grand scheme of things. Yeah, the Americans are like, wah, wah, wah. But we did that in one day, nigga. But yeah. even, even though, say, like, people have the views and it gives them legitimacy, like, oh, look, 10 million views, 5 million. If those are fake views, guess what? You're going to find out when you try to do a show and only, like, you yeah, don't even sell out a con. You know Two what I mean? people show exactly. up. Exactly. And that's when it's bad, bro. And that's when, yo, the truth will reveal itself where mm -hmm. it's like, you know what? Like, yeah, you did. You faked it till you made it. But like you made it now, and because you faked it, you it's not real anymore. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? You're not gonna make it. It's you're not. not you didn't actually make, make it. it. You just faked it. Yeah. You just faked it still. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, no, and then you, you got exposed. You, made it. you got exposed. Yeah. And a lot that happens to a lot of artists. And then you see them, and you're like, you're not even. First of all, you're not even good. Like you, you faked almost like your performance. Like yeah, I don't yeah. know, even auto tune to an extent can like make or break yeah. these guys mm -hmm. and make it seem like they can sing. And then you hear them live, you're like, you are shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. yeah, bro. Keep it real. I think like, yo, just keep it real. Eventually the real views will come. But I do agree you should use positive language when you speak about That's all yourself. I'm saying. I agree That's with all that. I'm saying. I agree. That's something I got to work on. I've realized that and I think I've witnessed it a lot like growing up. I see both sides. Like I feel like one of my parents is more like negative when they speak about like bad <laughs> situations. My other parent is positive. Mm. So I, I'm able to have like my egocentric side that's like, nah, like, yo, you're the best. You know what I'm saying? But then the yeah. other side of me is like, you could be better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, but you know? that's the part where that's you're the best. Yeah. So you guys, yeah, but I'm gonna be better. Exactly. Self awareness yes. is the key in the end of the day. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think we got it for the week. That man. was a good episode. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.